getting, getting, getting you, getting, getting, getting you. You can take a swing at my ego. You can make a run for my crowd. Even if it's only a people, you ain't gonna take us down. You can leave your evil right at that. You can drop your bombs on the ground. Even if you stand me green and red, you ain't gonna take us down. <laughs> And now, another edition of Wrestling with Attitude from Charlotte, North Carolina. The best wrestling podcast out there today. With your host, the intellectual savior of the masses, The Summit. If we have any six foot five women yeah. that are interested, Steven Singles, our D Generation Six, Bo Generation. And the mouth of the Carolinas, little Steven. Don't be talking to the 18 day champion like that. Bo, conversationalist person. Bo, hey. horrible. The former six month champ. The Melting Pot, J.P. Just go back and do that, RVD. Go back to Philadelphia. I'm sure there's a bingo hall. You can sweep the floors, you know, give the old ladies another marker. Little Steve, little Steve. And this man makes wrestling attitude live to his standards. Dirty Dutch. I mean, I like to watch Justin Gabriel until he got whooped by Goldberg. You ruined my core. Yeah. You can listen to us on Stitcher iTunes and Spreaker. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and tweet us at WWA Show. Wrestling with Attitude. Hi, right. welcome, welcome, to Wrestling with Attitude. On like I said before, Stitcher, Spreaker, iTunes. Believe it or not. Yeah, and we're on YouTube. <laughs> Hello, everybody, wave. All right, there you go. Awesome. Yeah. All right, stop looking, Steve. You may break the camera. <laughs> you know the camera adds 20 pounds, right? That's okay. <laughs> All right. In your case, it might be 100. <laughs> All right, stunt double. <laughs> All right. You want to do this again this week? No. We can do You know, I got, <laughs> I got my stunt double t-shirt on. I can do this again. You do it even without the stunt double t-shirt. <laughs> That's very true. I do a good job of it. So, welcome to the show today. We got a lot to talk about. Of course, that was uh, the mouth of... The Carolinas, unfortunately, he's here. Uh, little Steven. And then to the left, the dirty man himself is back. Always stinky for you guys. Always stinky? Always stinky for oh, you guys. Uh, what, you not take a shower for us or something? I never take a shower for you guys. <laughs> hey, if you're going to coin me with Dirty Dutch, I'm not taking a shower oh, for you God. guys. <laughs> I was wondering what that smell was. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you can, you can come up with something else. You got it. Hey. I don't know. I'm okay being in the same class with Brooklyn Brawler, man. I think just as bad as him. <laughs> Out, actually, you're the same class as Nelson Royal. I'll or actually, it. Zev Coulter, because the ri- original Dutch Mantel was yeah. called Dirty Dutch, was Zev Coulter. Did you okay really just make a, a not, not a Zev Coulter reference? Who? The guy before that. Dutch Mantel? No, before that. Who? Um, Nance, or what would you say? Um, Larry Nance? Yeah. No, I didn't say Larry Nance. <laughs> okay. Who are you talking about? <laughs> no, the guy before that. The um, Before you said um, Zev Coulter, you said another name. You said you're in the same class as, who'd you say? I can't remember. I can't <laughs> hey, remember now. Hey, Mr. Porter, Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> what did I say? No. I don't care. You still made a crappy reference. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, whatever. So, uh, but we have a lot to talk about this week on the show. We got our top five. We got WrestleMania come up this weekend. We got uh, – there's a lot to go into today. Uh, I can't wait to dive into it. I know. We got the Eva WrestleMania coming up. Uh, it's WrestleMania week. Yeah, yes. So – And uh, stuff that's going on that's really made, like, some changes this WrestleMania. I mean, things that happened this week that changed my picks. So I'm definitely going to have to rethink my picks today. Well, don't think too long because you're going first. Oh, I won't think too long. Or second. Hey, right first, fire. first normally wins it. It's true. That's not true. First normally wins it. Ooh, That's not here true. we go. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> a miracle happens every once in a while. 
Well, the 18 day champ says uh, otherwise. Uh, <laughs> Been the champ three times. You know what's funny? Every time you're a champion, it's like 18 days. <laughs> every <laughs> every time, J- oh, every time JP is a champion, it's like four months. Hey, you know what? And there's not a pay per view, but he's like, I mean, because it seems like he's been champion since the Rumble. Oh, he's Brock Lesnar. No, I was the champion of the Rumble. <laughs> no, I say it. It seems like he has been the champion since <laughs> Rumble because yeah. it feels like it's been that long. Yeah. Saving Abel made what? a song about you. 18 days. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, that, that, that'll be his new sweeper that's song. Your, that's right. your new sweeper song now. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but before we go too far, uh, you know, we got some other stuff I want to talk about mm-hmm. today. Uh, there's a new Hall of Fame member. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mr. I don't know who that is. Kevin Nash <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> So he he's the last in person going to the Hall of Fame. You know, go ahead. I'm confused. One. Um, I, I'm only confused on this: is that uh, you know you put Razor Ramon in as Razor Ramon, not as Scott Hall, but you're going to put Kevin Nash not in as Diesel, but as Kevin Nash. I'm just saying he was known in WWE as Diesel, not yeah. as Kevin Nash. If you're going to do it right, you should put him in as Diesel. I'm just saying because. They didn't talk about his WW or WCW stuff. They talked yes, about they it. Yes, they did. Yeah. Yes, they did. It was it was but this much, but they did. But they, they didn't do no, it with it Razor Ramon though. No, and that's what I don't get. Why no, they I, did. Actually, they did. I think they did talked they? about more yes. Kevin Nash WCW era than the Scott Hall because Kevin Nash had a well, he way a boy, more successful. Yeah, he career was a heavyweight champion. You remember? All right, all right. Well, but you got. Yeah. They did talk I, about I, Scott I'm Hall. Saying I think that's what it was. They, yeah, they did talk about Razor Ramon in WCW because I right. think they what, did talk about him. All right, well, a little bit. you know, but he went in as Razor Ramon. I'm well, just, I'm just confused because I mean, again, Diesel had one of the longest, one of the longest runs with the W WWE Championship. Well, correct. He also had the quickest WWE Championship win too yeah. against Bob Backlund. That's I mean, right. that was mm-hmm. eight seconds. Eight seconds. Yep. But I think why they're going to touch on WCW or Kevin Nash because of his WCW career, he made a huge name for himself in WCW. He also was the architect for the NWO. I mean, one of the greatest stables in wrestling history. Architects. Well, <laughs> no, he, well, he was the architect of the Wolfpack. Yeah. He was one of the founding members Hall and, of – Hall and Nash well, were – He was one of the founding members of NWO, of uh-huh. course. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, he – Right. And he did a lot more than Scott Hall did in WCW. He yeah. was also the guy that ran WCW into the ground mm-hmm. with, <sighs> as with far as creative went. All right. You know, it, it, here's my thing, because I don't talk a lot about WCW because well, I'm not a WCW yeah. guy. I but of all not. the stuff that I've I've researched, I've looked at, the one thing I've noticed is it wasn't one guy that ran WCW. He right. had a part in it. <laughs> yeah. I, no, dude. He even says – he had a part in it. I love Kevin Nash to all get out. Mm-hmm. But some of the stuff he, you know, the creative stuff, he he was doing the booking during the bad times. And, and that's of, Wiley known. And yeah. one of the things, too, that killed WCW was his incident with Hulk Hogan, the finger poke of doom. Well, and that we was could spend just all bad. day. And I mean right. that, yeah. But that, You're right. we could spend all day on the doom of WCW, <laughs> the downfall. Yeah. I mean, we could. But yeah, that that was a big part. But also him and Hogan, the egos they had, mm-hmm. they wouldn't push anybody younger. Yeah, and, and that, that's a whole different story. Well, but Kevin Nash, dude, come on, he's got to go in. No, Kevin no, Nash. no, 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 no. I'm I, happy I that think, he's gone. And I think they found the mistake of last year. Okay, if we put Razor Ramon in, well, we're gonna put him in as Scott Hall too. Right. Why, why not just do both while you're at it? Because he Scott Hall, Kevin Nash is really going in as Kevin Nash, but. He's going Diesel. as Diesel, yeah. 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 yeah, just like I told you, because there could be three guy, there could be one guy going in as three different characters, three different, gimmicks. and we don't really do that. No, that's horrible. Yeah, there. I mean, there's only two guys that should be in the Hall of Fame twice. That's I Hogan know. and Flair. Yeah, everybody else can wait in line. This um, Hall of Fame class is really large. 
Yeah, it's eight people now. Yeah, it's so large. I'm like, wow, there's well, a lot of people going th- in this year. You know what? I'm okay showed. with that, though, because you, you, you don't go buy a Rikishi real fast. You don't go buy the Bushwhackers real fast. I Nobody, hope so. You know, <laughs> I you, really hope so. They put a Japanese wrestler in this year. Yeah, what? who was that? Because I saw that on the um, – was like they, they they never showed or they never showed like his induction thing, because I guess he's not very known. But who was no, it? Tatsunami. He, yeah, Isn't that what it was? Tatsunami. I think I, so. I, talk about Nash. A minute. Yeah. Well, no, but I mean, going back to Nash, though. I mean, I'm happy he's in. I mean, yeah. yes, he's. He, I'm. I'm glad he's in now. It's been. It's been the appropriate amount of time that he's in. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, I. I really wish he would have got in before Razor. Absolutely. I, I he deserves to be in there before. A lot of the guys that are in there now. Well, yeah, but I mean, I see what they're going to do. They're going to have all the members of the clique is going to be in there. I mean, Sean Absolutely. Waltman is going to be in there yep. eventually. Yep. Hopefully not as himself, though. I want to see him either in as DX yeah, or NWO. Yeah. I don't care what you do. Put him in with a faction. You want him X-Pac or Six. Yeah, I don't yeah. want him by himself. That's what either. I'm afraid of. And Who? the thing is, X- Sean Waltman. He's I don't not want- going in by himself. There's yeah, no that's way he goes in the Hall yeah, of that's Fame what, by that's himself. That's that's what no we're saying. way. And we yeah. said no way that Rikishi would go in. If I, if, I love if Sean, that spot, dude, but Sean Waltman does not deserve. No, he does not. But he's. I'm telling you, they did it with Rikishi. You can't tell me that ho, it's not a possibility. Ho, ho, if somebody ho. has his own heat, that's called X Pac heat, where nobody <laughs> cares. You don't deserve to go into the Hall of Fame. That's true. Rikishi. <laughs> No offense, X Pac. I'm sure you listen to the show, but <laughs> I, I just, dude, Rikishi deserves to be in before him. That is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, Rikishi wow. had a bigger impact than he did. Rikishi, the biggest thing that X Pac ever had was the night he went from WCW to WWE. The night after WrestleMania 14, mm-hmm. when he joined Triple H and DX, yeah. that's the biggest. Well, besides China. That's the biggest two <laughs> memories we have of that spot. <laughs> I'm serious. Because he, I mean, he's been deep in China and deep out of China. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Oh, my God. That's that the just, biggest memories. And, yes, we just said that on there. That just happened. Hey, Did China. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure she listened to Joanne Lauer. I'm sure you listened to the show. I appreciate it. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, man. I'm married. Uh, I love you, China. <laughs> I just want you to know. <laughs> oh, my God. So, and I'm sure she listens to it. I mean, she's one of our 81 listeners that we have. <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet she is. No, man. Well, I, I had them lying at the door, dude. I got I got China at one door. I got Sable at the other one. But actually, <laughs> Sable will be at the front door. China will be at the back door. <laughs> In my opinion, Sable's at both doors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's man. not what Brock Lesnar said, sir. Oh, no. yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, the China, the Japanese guy you're talking about, is Tatsumi Fujami. And what is he Fujami. known for? He was. A, can you let me get? Uh, yeah. Let me get to it. <laughs> yeah, man. He's gonna be inducted by Ric Flair. He's six-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion, one-time NWA Heavyweight Champion, and two-time WWF Junior Heavyweight Champion. WWF yep. Junior? We had Junior Heavyweight, dude. That was you don't back in the it? 80s, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. It was in the 80s. They were doing the gimmicks. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we had the yeah. Junior Heavyweight. Yeah. We did. I uh, think that was later converted into the light heavyweight. It, you're exactly right. Oh, yeah. okay. That's, yeah. Okay. Never mind. All right. And then that's when the light heavyweight kind of lost its, I guess you want to say its pop. Well, because WCW is really known for its cruiserweight division. So oh. light heavyweight got dropped Actually, in WCW. Cruiserweight championship really started. What's up? You're, you're thinking, too. This was 1979, dude. 1980. Oh, wow. That's when that was? Yeah. Wow. Okay. It Whoa. was. You got to remember, it's a WWF junior heavyweight title. Okay. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, this is a little bit older, younger before that. Okay. Before Tiger Uno and everybody else had it. Gotcha, 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 okay. gotcha. Because I do remember the light heavyweight. I don't mm-hmm. remember the junior. So the junior was like before WrestleMania and all that. It was way before. Wow, okay. But going back to Kevin Nash, what's, give me, let you go first because if he goes, he'll you'll probably take one of his. Uh, tell me a fond memory, your number one memory of – Kevin Nash. Uh, What's the one that stands out? WWE, WCW, whatever. Actually, I'm I'm gonna. You're lost. You both wrong. No, WWE. Uh, when uh, 
He um, when he faced Shawn Michaels, I thought that was great at WrestleMania uh, eleven. Yep. Or was it? Yeah, WrestleMania eleven. Yeah, because twelve was Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. Yeah, and Undertaker and Diesel. That's when he like became kind of a heel again or whatever. Like mm-hmm. I, I mean, it, that's when he had his face run against Shawn Michaels. I love that. I thought yeah. that was like the best shiny moment. I was like, this this guy's gonna be a star. Yeah, yeah. Like that. that I felt like that's when he was like. Is when he first came into the WWE as a stunt, like as a um, bodyguard. As a bodyguard, it was yeah. like, whoa. I mean, you he knew was, he was going to be, you know. You knew he was going to be. Huge. It was. It was yeah. funny because of like how tall he was with his freakish speed. I mean, he moved. He was a like a two hundred, like a two hundred twenty pound guy. I mean, you just kind of were shocked by what he could do, and he could talk like a like because there's this yeah. one thing that they say, and correct me if I'm wrong, James, but they say that a big man. Doesn't can't talk as well as a like all around wrestler. What? Oh big yeah, man? yeah. No, he was yeah, he was the first. Go ahead. Oh, no, was, go ahead. Go ahead. He was the first big man that could speak on that the line. Could talk. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Thank you for finishing my sentence. Well, uh, that's yes. what you guys do. Your stunt doubles to each other. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to Miz Dow over here, and he won't let me. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> He's got the stunt double. Sure, you can't Miz Dow on Miz Dow. I'm supposed to do that to you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. But yes, I was gonna say that. You know, he was the first big man that can actually speak. Because you got to remember, before him, it was Sid Justice mm-hmm. or Sid Vicious. I and he couldn't man. speak. No. I'm the Come ruler on. of the oh, what? No, he's like, wait a minute, can I start over? <laughs> no, it's, you already started. It's live, buddy. <laughs> it's live. You can't restart live TV. Oh, man. Well, I mean, you can replay it, but, yeah. <laughs> no, but, yeah. he was you, Sid you Justice. Could, he was but... good. He was good as Sid Justice. It's when he became Psycho Sid. He lost everything but no kevin nash <laughs> you know was he was but anyway you done yeah no i mean right. he was all an all-around wrestler for a big guy i mean what, what is he seven foot seven almost seven foot two yeah. three yeah oh my uh, God. He's like seven, I, so he's bigger than the undertaker yeah i he's didn't taller. know that yeah dude yeah he was bigger wow. he was uh well for the longest time people thought kane was seven feet he's not no kane he's right underneath i just figured out that was diesel when they brought diesel back so don't don't get mad at me about that. <laughs> I just figured out that was that was him, because I, I I went I went up and looked it up and I was like oh that's okay that makes a lot of sense. The now. other guy is not known that played Razor Ramon. Yeah. Nobody knows who that guy is. <laughs> wow, so. that is like non-existent. So what's your your uh, Kevin Nash moment? Kevin Nash moment. Bash at the beach, the actual birth of the NWO. Mm. That was my favorite moment because I was a big Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Hogan fan. And uh, at that point in time, I just really liked that angle because it felt so real that Nash and Hall were over here from the WWF. So when you're watching it, you're kind of like, wow, the WWF is invading. So you really thought something real was going on there. Yeah. And I really enjoyed that whole birth of the NWO because you were going against Sting, Luger, and Macho Man, and they were Team WCW. They were going to rebel against Hall and Nash, and Hall and Nash promised that there was a third member. And then when Hogan came down there, you did not expect it. And when Hogan put that leg drop down, you were just like, no way. And Nash's face, when Hogan dropped that leg drop, it's priceless. Priceless. <laughs> I, I love the face. And and Hall and Nash were just like, ooh, we told you, and everything. And then, you know, Sting and, and Macho Man are just like, you got to be kidding me. That whole that whole pay-per-view was amazing. That main I, event was amazing. I have never seen so much trash. Oh, in the yeah. Ring. What, you remember when WWE Network started, what, a year ago now? Yeah. What's the first thing I said? Which you can get for nine ninety nine yeah. still. That's uh, what he made me go watch <laughs> first. That's product luck. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the first thing I said is go back and watch that basket the beach. That's and then the first I watched. Thing I, said. I watched at least. Uh, I think I watched ninety six, ninety seven. That whole night, I watched all the way up to almost ninety eight on WCW pay per views. The thing I hate though, and hopefully they'll do it soon, is I want the nitros of those years, so you can so I can up. actually. Like, cause that's what I do with uh, with Raw. I go back in '96 and I watch all the Raws lead up to the pay per views. Watch the pay per views. You know how hard yeah. that is. I, I mean, no, I'm being serious, what? dude. I, you remember, I told you I have started. I did that with uh, W when it, the, the pay per views came out. Mm-hmm. I went from pay per view to pay per view. I'm still. I think I'm at uh, 
I'm back in the nineties of WCW. I went through every. I did like that. Wow. I went through every single WCW Nitro to that pay per view, and I'm thinking I'm to ninety eight right now with Sting and you know where just after Starcade. Yeah, but yeah, I, mean, I started doing Monday Nitro, and yeah. then I look on the timeline of okay WCW Nitro just aired Clash of Champions now. Right. Then I'm going to. Yeah. The pay per view. The pay per view. Then I watch yeah. that follow, well, and it what takes. I do. And, and the thing is, it does. It takes a while yeah. because it's an hour show. Then Raw. I mean, excuse me, Raw Nitro goes to two hours. The pay per view is three hours. Yep. Clash of Champions is two hours. Is it two or one hour? I think it's two. Clash hours. of Champions is two. Yeah, and it's just like. Wow, this is a lot of watching. Because, yep. I mean, a lot of times you can fast forward, but you don't yeah. want to well, because Tony Schiavone, <laughs> no, they I, talk about good things that are good Sometimes I will fast forward through the matches usually yeah. to the finish of the match. Depends on the match. You know, depend, yeah, yeah, depends on the match. But the biggest problem is you, when you watch the network, here's a network issue. If you watch it on the PS3, it gives you little white lines you can fast forward to. Yeah. If I watch it on the Roku... It doesn't give me anything. Okay, oh, that, that's how it is but, on the iPad. But if you watch it on the Roku, it will go in order of pay per views and everything. If you watch it on PS3 or the Xbox, then it it doesn't give you anything. It just lists all the WrestleManias. It lists all the SummerSlams. Then you have to figure out. Oh, it's oh, different, man. right? Okay, it's so different. it's in chronic chronic. It doesn't do right. It's in, or, it, no, there's no order. I mean, yeah, you got WrestleMania one at the beginning, and it'll go all the way through, but it's not. It's not chronological. Right. It's wow. Not, it's not like if you watch it on the Roku, like I could watch the Roku, okay? Yeah. And I could get done watching WrestleMania and go to the next pay-per-view. It'll show up, you know. Oh, okay. It's like like it'll, it'll do it by year. So on, WCW, on the Roku, it will do WrestleMania's, it will do all the pay-per-views by year. So we would do oh it's just if doing pay per views right if okay. you do pay per views like on the Roku it'll do it by year okay yeah. if you go watch it on PS3 it does it by name by name yeah so Armageddon I had to figure out which pay I had to watch that pay per view and then figure out what was next yeah yeah, yeah. I yeah mean, you see yeah. what I'm saying yeah. if I'm watching Roku it's all in order I don't have to do all that now wait I think but on, PS3 and stuff it does it and there's my, not a way to change it. On my Xbox One, I believe I can watch pay per view to next pay per view. I think it listed by yeah, year. Well, that's good. That's good by yeah. year. But if you do it by name, you got to go. I, usually, what I do is I go back www.com. I look at it on the network from the computer, and it does it by. It goes to the next one. Yeah. Oh, okay. But if you certain ones do it different, and I I can't stand it. Nah. So what about okay. you? What's your well, you know, my favorite one? Well, I'll I'll move us on. They just you know. I'm the stunt double. I run this thing. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I thought I was the Miz. I'm the How one. How can you be the stunt double and run things? You're the stunt yeah. double. You, stunt doubles don't run things. Who, who do uh, people cheer for? I was doing my okay. Miz duties. They can cheer for uh, you, but that doesn't mean you <laughs> run it. <laughs> well, do your duties. There you go. Do it. All right. You just said duties. Duties. <laughs> 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 Did you just stunt double yourself like you just said duties? <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Well, you know, James does duties once in a while. Uh, oh. Anyway, uh, mine would be, dude, watching this guy, the first time I saw him at WCW, <laughs> he come in, as a, uh, in 90, 93 as his name was Steel. Oh, Do you God. Remember that? Yeah. I think I remember that. Yeah, uh, he was, uh, he was still he was part one half of the tag team known as Master Blasters. You remember that, don't you? Come I on. don't think I remember the Master Blasters. Yeah, go back and watch. Uh, he his partner was Iron. He debuted at, with Clash of Champions nineteen ninety, yeah, defeating man. Brad Armstrong and Tim Horner. Wow, Brad Armstrong, that. huh? Yeah, uh, but I kind of remember that. But then, oh my God. Oz came out. Mm. <laughs> this guy is seven feet tall. Of course, this is when, you know, he was doing this gimmick. Terror Rising was doing his. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Greatest ever. But he was Oz and managed by the Great Wizard. <laughs> and he was getting beat by Ron Simmons and other guys, Test which is task. horrible. But 
I saw. I remember watching this guy, and he was so big and so good. I knew this guy was going to be good. Then he went WWE, and he started managing Shawn Michaels. And I really, I wasn't a WWE guy until a little bit later. I still watched it, but after the whole, what are you doing over there? I, I looked up Master Blasters, and oh my yeah. God, he looks so completely. Do you different. see we're on camera? No, we're not okay. actually. <laughs> Put it down. So anyway, but yeah, Master Blasters. And he's starting as Oz and Vinny Vegas. And watching this guy go through all these bad gimmicks. (laughs) And then he finally got Diesel. I was like, yep, okay. Now he's got it. (laughs) And then Kevin Nash, WCW. I remember when he first debuted. I was like, this is awesome. Because I loved the Outsiders. I did. I loved tag team wrestling at the time anyway. Well, tag team wrestling back then was. Well, no, it was, yeah. Beautiful. But. You know, uh, back in the 80s, it was beautiful, too. We were starting to rock and roll and Midnight Express. Mm-hmm. But they carried that tradition on with the tag team. But Kevin Nash was so, so big. He could move so well. Uh, greatest memory, though. And he is the longest. He was the longest reigning WCW champion mm-hmm. of the era. Yeah. Uh, this one sounded fun. I was looking at it a second ago. But... Uh, 99 and 2001, he had the championship most of that time. Of course, they finished in 2001. But for me, the poke, I think, with Hogan was probably the most memorable moment, sadly. Uh, The whole Goldberg thing, that's just Uh, so disappointing. The way they – The way with the taser, I just – I didn't like – and unfortunately, I think – he will be remembered more for the bad things, and you know, and that's sad because you know he has so many good moments early on in his career and everything else. I hope the bad stuff doesn't overshadow. Like now, recently he got arrested for domestic violence or abuse with his son. A whole different story. I, what I feel like that just comes with the with the territory, though, because I mean, think about. I mean, I, I think it has a lot to do just with because of the WCW stuff. Because, you know, like you said, you, you say that, you know, he's one of the guys that made the downfall of WCW. And that's why. But he did a lot of other great accomplishments. He did. I mean, he did better accomplish. I mean, in my opinion, he accomplished more in WWE than he did in WCW. But that's just my opinion. But all the stuff he did was just amazing, dude. I mean, he was awesome in WCW. Mm. So... Uh, but I remember all the good stuff he did. Yeah. Uh, one, you know, but he is going to be in the Hall of Fame, and it's funny because somebody actually sent a tweet out saying he was going to duck him into the Hall of Fame. You want to guess who it was? Oh, I already know. Who? Shawn Michaels. Wrong. You want to guess who it was that sent a tweet out saying he was going to duck him? I don't know. Nope. Okay. I don't know. JP loves it. Uh, oh, is it going to be Triple H? Nope. No. Wrong. Uh, Mick Foley sent a tweet out saying he was going to induct him into the Hall of Fame. What did they have? That they, uh, what did they do together? Nothing. <laughs> All right, Mick. Yeah, go ahead, Mick. Go ahead and do that. He, I don't, and on the tweet it says, I haven't formally been asked yet. But I'm like, okay, then how are you doing it? Uh, but it says it's not been announced that he's going to do it yet but that's what Mick Foley said he was doing it I just had to share that I agree that he will be known for some of the bad things that he did I mean like you said it comes with the territory mm-hmm. but I think one of the things that really stands out is like the, like I said the NWO the NWO oh, is such a well. it's yeah. it's such a cornerstone I, for WCW I think that it's going to I think that's one of the major things he'll be known no, for. He, he'll be known, known for, for NWO, yeah, but we're moving on from Kevin Nash. Uh, but, yeah, Mick Foley sent a tweet out saying he may be I'm, – I'm shaking my head. Uh, a couple <laughs> other things real fast. WWE had a statue made of the Ultimate Warrior made and revealed at Access. Yeah, there's a big hmm. uh, statue made. Okay. They don't take it from WrestleMania to WrestleMania place. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Uh, why do we say this wrong? Hideo, 
Hideo Atomi. Atomi. Hideo. Hideo, right? Mm-hmm. Atomi uh, beat Vin Balor in the finals of a four man tournament a- access to win a spot in the Andre Giant Battle Royal. Wow. And Vin Balor will be in it also. Awesome. Both of them awesome. will be in it. Cool. Uh, the Battle Royal now is the, on the kickoff show. Mm-hmm. They moved it to the kickoff show. Mm-hmm. Because there's seven <sighs> matches. Dude. All right. All or, right. There's nine total. And they put the Barry Warrior and the uh, tag team title on there. Seven matches in uh, four hours? It'll be fine. It'll Oof. be fine. Trust me. Because right. the ladder match will kick off the show, and then it'll be the first match of the night probably. Okay. Uh, then Triple H entrance at WrestleMania will be a Termin- Terminator-like jacket and theme. That's supposedly his outfit this year. He's going to be wearing the jacket of, from the Terminator. The big black jacket and everything. I, I can't wait to see it. A uh, right. couple other things real fast. Piero Agea, Agea uh, Jr. died instantly during his match with Rey Mysterio last week. We talked about it earlier. Uh, yeah. We, you looked at the video. Oh, God. The guy that died during the match. Oh. It was oh. Mysterio's first match in Triple A. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, explain this to me, though. What? Um, like he, so he died instantly. Mm-hmm. Is what they're saying. What? Yes, and uh, it's weird no, how he, they they, they put said it. that he died instantly. He got supposed when he got kicked in the shoulder slash neck area, he fell, and after that, that's what that's what the coroner's report uh, okay. says. Okay, so are charges on Ray Mysterio or not? Well, they're trying to supposedly. That's what I was going to bring up is that apparently the uh, Mexican government wants to press involuntary manslaughter yeah. charges on him, which, you know, and I was talking right. about this earlier. Mm-hmm. I don't think that WWE will have have not ha- let them do that to Ray. I think they're going to protect him. Well, I think they're because you can't. It's an occupational hazard. Right, but it also, really is. You cannot fault Rey you, Mysterio for killing this you, man. You can't t- even if the WWE doesn't get involved. The state of Mexico is not going to press charge. No. Come on, dude. I, Come I, on. I hope there, not. It will be out of court or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They'll do. You know, they'll. He'll probably pay a fine. There'll be a settlement if he has to, to the family, which he probably should anyway. Just, I mean, you know, he wants to, but. Come on, he's not going to jail. His family, uh, I just read this too before I came in. His uh, family did say, do not blame Rey Mysterio for the death. It was a freak accident. These things kind of happened. They said, and I mean, they're telling fans, don't blame him at all. It just happened. Right. You can't. There's no way you can. Uh, And it's okay. I mean, but it does happen. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it happened to this guy in Mysterio in his first match. All right, we're going to take a break. Come back. You're listening to Wrestling Attitude. We'll, we got some more news, and we'll get into Raw. Be right back.
This is little Steven from Wrestling With Attitude. Do you want to be extreme? Or maybe you want to be the show-off slash face. Or maybe you want to be the intellectual savior of the masses. Or, if you're really up to it, you could be the six-month champ. Doesn't matter what you want to be, but you can find it all right here at Wrestling With Attitude. Go to our website at WrestlingWithAttitude.com. Like us on Facebook. Also, tweet us at WWA Show Wrestling With Attitude. That's where the big boys play. All right. Welcome. Welcome back to Wrestling With Attitude on Stitcher, Spreaker, and iTunes. Hey, brother. I got it. Huh? Yeah, I cut you off for a reason. Oh, thanks. There you go. By the way, there's, there's another big boy getting in the Hall of Fame, by the way. You know, Who? big boys play. See, Kevin Nash is in the Hall of Fame Seriously? All because of all that. Seriously? <laughs> Really? Big boy. You don't go there? <laughs> First Larry Sabisco. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, also, some other news. Brock Lesnar this week uh, goes on. He's on Sports Center. He announces he signed a new contract with the WWE. Uh, say he's retiring from the UFC. Hold on. His new contract, you'll love this because I know how much you love contracts and how much you deal with it, is three years for three million a year. Uh, and will still work at limited schedule. So you'll probably see him four times a year. Play at it. Pay reviews. Play it. Play it. Why are you mad at him? Play it. You should be mad at WWE. I didn't say I was mad at him. Well, you should be. I'll I'll look for it. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, I know oh. which one you want me to play. Uh, hold on. Uh, nope, that's not it. <laughs> just hit puberty. I just that hit one? puberty. <laughs> the puberty one? Is that what you're talking about? You know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. Come on. Wrestling with Attitude presents JP's Rants. Awesome! You know, when does right. it start playing this for you, everyone? WWE. Changes really? to Louis Stevens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Here's the thing. So you want to cut back on stuff. You want to cut back on, you know, fireworks and entrances and all this. But you're going to pay Brock Lesnar $3 million a year to show up four times. Four freaking pay-per-views. Are you kidding me? Yes. WWE, you are stupid. Really? Okay. Did you just... You know who's stupid? <laughs> you want to know who's stupid? What? For that stupid comment you just made. This man will draw money. What's $3 million? They will make it back. Trust me. I mean, you can't say they won't because they will. You know they will. When there's a pay-per-view, trust me, I, here's my rant if you want to do a rant. I hope he's not the champion all year until next WrestleMania. That I have an issue with. You didn't if you want to... That. Well, no, because I know where you're going. Because the first thing you like to do is place blame. How can you place blame on WWE? So they're spending $3 million to keep Brock Lesnar. Do you know how much money they're going to make at this WrestleMania? Do you know how much he's going to make after WrestleMania when he's a face at SummerSlam? He's going to be huge, dude. Because after picks tonight, you'll understand why I'm saying that. I'm just saying. You got to understand the business side. They make money, dude. Yeah. It's not like it's Batista. Okay? If I if Batista would have signed a three-year deal for $3 million, that I can understand why you have an issue. But it's Brock Lesnar, dude. People's going to pay to go see him. It doesn't matter if they're in that farm in Iowa or down in the islands in Hawaii. They will go see Brock Lesnar. Or Portland, Oregon for the next WrestleMania. First off, it's Dallas is the next WrestleMania. I know. I said whenever they have the WrestleMania. 33. Okay. That would yeah, probably you... be 40. What? Come on, man. I want to say your logic on this stuff. You didn't even let me rant. This... I said two words, and I you're know. like, it was a stupid rant. Blah, 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 blah. Right. What, what the hell, The man? rant was on you. No, look. Here's the thing with Brock Lesnar I have a problem with. Okay, great. $3 million. Great. He's going to draw crowds. But he's not a great wrestler to me. Excuse me? What did we see at SummerSlam? Ooh, we saw him dominate, dominate with 16 German suplexes. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Three moves! Three moves of doom! Okay. Woo. Really? Would you rather see the five 
the five moves of I'm already kick out. gonna see that. <laughs> the five moves of kick out by Cena. Well, I'd rather see that than the three moves in the purple face. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Dude, when Brock trust me, you will see more wrestling from Brock now. Because he look, ain't going back to UFC. If we see that, that's fine. It's just the last three matches I've seen of the guy, it feels like a and, UFC match. And, and no offense, if you go watch Kurt Angle, and Kurt Angle is the great, in my opinion, pound for pound, greatest wrestler to step in a ring. Okay. Okay, you watch him now, what does he do mostly? It's mostly German suplexes. I mean, why? Why do they? I mean, because these guys used to be really good wrestlers. Because they're getting older. It's not as easy as it used to be. I mean, that's the reason they're leaving stuff like that for Seth Rollins and for these other guys to put on five-star great matches, you know, and Randy Orton. They're, Steven, they're, he's, he is what you pay to see him. He is what we think he is. He's a beast to show up. Do we want to see a beast really put on a 20-minute wrestling match? No. I mean, we do anyways. Well, I mean, okay. we, we, no, I mean, we still see it. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, he's if he's the main event, I want to see the best main event I can get. That's the thing. If you're going to pay that much money for the guy, I want to see a really good main event. You don't have to go out there and do all these spectacular moves, but I want to see a good wrestling match. If you're paying for the guy, you should get your money's worth. And they do. How are you saying they're not getting their money's worth? Okay, people are buying I, I'm tickets. I'm sorry. I'm not getting my money's worth. I'm not getting oh, my money's so worth. Oh, so the WWE should stop because you're yes. not getting your money? Yes. That's yes, the reason? They should. Let's just cancel WWE Network yep. because little Steven on WWE says, stop it. Yep. Because <laughs> he, he runs a great business. Yep. Who runs this business? Okay. I'm co I'm co end, 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 <laughs> end of Durant. What? Just saying. This is what this is the new breed of wrestling now. You know, when you used to watch back in the day, you would see your main stars every night. And what they're trying to avoid now is getting this bad name for wrestlers of not being able to walk, having head trauma. They're live they're trying to make them live longer. They're trying to extend their careers longer. And trust me. I understand, but me, if I still wrestle today and they came up to me and they said, you're working part-time, full-time pay, there's no way in hell I'm saying no to that. Well, I'm going to say yes to that. One thing I want to add to that, okay? You got to understand, today's wrestlers, all right, they don't work the schedule they used to. Mm -mm. Kevin Nash and Scott Hall and Shawn Michaels don't drive to every single town anymore and work seven days a week. Say what you want about these wrestlers. I know they work hard. I'm not giving them any excuse. They work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They're off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday unless there's a pay-per-view or they have a signing or they have something else. But you know what? If you're getting paid to go do a signing, really? Come on. So they don't work as much as they used to anyway. So most – I mean, I'm just saying, Stephen, and they're getting paid – you know, but when your main attraction is a Brock Lesnar, which I'm fine with him staying WWE because it's going to be a box office type thing, dude. I mean, it is, bottom line. He'll make money. The $3 million that he's getting paid to is literally pennies of what that company is going to make on those four. Uh, say if he shows up four times. He could show up one time, and it could be, like you said, SummerSlam. He could show up at SummerSlam, and if the crowd knows that's going to be that one time, they're going to make so much money off of that one appearance. Off of, and like I said, I don't agree with having him on there. But remember, John Cena—he was on there every night. John well, Cena was an every night wrestler. Yeah. Well, hold on. One thing about that too. Okay. But Lesnar did too. What well, Lesnar? Look, Lesnar is the guy. Cena, Lesnar, Orton—three guys that do not need the heavyweight championship anymore. They don't. They don't. After he loses it, he does not need it again. Okay. Those three guys are big enough names. They will sell out arenas. They don't have to have a tile match. You just need to put them against the right people. That's where you build the younger guys, where they can go against Cena or they can go against Batista. That is how you get them over to the, be golden for the next. You have them with a great rivalry with a Cena. If you have think, – dude, think about this. You have Roman Reigns as a bad guy with Paul Heyman against John Cena. You don't tell me that's not a sellout in an arena. 
He's already getting booed. He's getting booed Why now. Why not? Go with, ahead and do it. Not even with the title on the line. Okay, yeah. he Rusev is a, is gonna be boot is being cheered right now because he's going against Cena at WrestleMania. But I'm gonna tell you after WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar is gonna be a face. It's going to happen, and he's gonna sell out the arena because he's Brock Lesnar, dude. And the, it doesn't matter. And the thing too is that when this face turn happens, it's not even because of his actions. It's all on Paul Heyman, and that's what makes this so interesting. Because it's not, is Brock Lesnar the bad guy? No, Brock is, right now, technically he is not a heel. He, right, he's, he's an anti-hero, yes. just, like, just yes. like Orton is. Orton could go out the next night and turn face, and then go back heel and mm-hmm. be cheered. No matter what, he's going to be cheered because of who he is. I'm just trying to say, dude, you have had this problem with Lesnar since he's come back to the company. Yeah. But you can't blame Lesnar. You can't blame the WWE because they're making money off of him, and he's making money. And people are still buying stuff. People are still going to see him. It is more interesting when he's on TV than when he's not. And you can't tell me it's not. I just, I I don't... I don't see the charisma in the, the guy to me. It, I just don't. How? I mean, fine. You don't like him. Fine. I can understand that. But, dude, I'm just saying it's better for business. Well, I and don't, it is. I don't like the business. Okay. Well, <laughs> why do you like wrestling then? That's my point. And today's times is more of an independent feel to it than it's ever been before. Why do you think they signed all these independent guys? Why do you think that? Because and it's more independent than it used to be, and it's it's changing that way. And I'm, uh, I like that you said that too, because Lesnar was an independent wrestler too, and so was seen in. Well, yeah, I mean, he was an amateur. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. These guys now they see what happened. I mean, people knew who they were when they were independent, and then you bring them up into this cir- or circuit, but into this big of an organization now. Well, with that, the reason that they are is social media. Mm-hmm. Okay, YouTube, you know, other things. That's the reason these guys on the independent scene are so huge now. You know, because we knew Vin Balor. We knew Kevin Steen. We knew Hideo Itami. Hideo Itami. God, I swear. Hideo Itami. Hideo. Thank you. Every <laughs> time I do that, Hideo. You know, we know these guys. Solomon Crow. All these guys that come up. We know who they are. Daniel Bryan. CM Punk. Uh, Samoa Joe. I could keep going. There's these independent guys, you know, are, I'm just trying to say, dude, I understand why you're, they give them $3 million. My only concern with it, okay, I don't have a problem him re-signing. He doesn't have to be the heavyweight champion, though. That's the only thing, because it's wearing thin a little bit. There's not really been a heavyweight rivalry for six months to a year. But see, that's that's my problem with it. Is then that that's not his fault? That's the WWE's fault. I, that's, with the I never said it was his fault. That's I, the creative. I said it was WWE's fault. That's the thing. But I don't know if WWE is going to you know actually not have him as champion because I could see them running beating this horse until it's dead. All right, you got anything? I echo. We'll move on because you have been beating this horse for a year. Um, no, I just, oh, okay. I mean, like I said, the only thing I have to say is I understand what they're doing. It's going to, th- cash cow. That's what it is. Right. You're making cash money. Mm-hmm. Right. And why you stop, you ain't going to stop making money because people's going to pay to see Lesnar in the main event. Main question too is how long can I extend Lesnar's career? That's what that is. Dude, he's, uh, he's not going to go he's out He's in for such while. good shape, man. Yeah. This man could he's go in, for 10 years. He's in the best shape of his career. Mm. Uh, that's just like saying John Cena and Orton. Dude, y'all think I've been saying it? He, they got about three or four more years of main time competition. Then they're gonna go to the sideline and do a part time contract. You don't think they ain't getting three million dollars for three years? Oh yeah, John Cena will get three years and probably ten million dollars. <laughs> then I want you to be complaining about John Cena only being part time. I won't because exactly because <laughs> it's a double standard. Well, what? I mean, I complain about The Undertaker getting paid that much. Why? It's big names. It, dude, it, whatever. Do you really think I want to see Undertaker 365 days a year? No. I don't want to see him once. 
That'd be boring. <laughs> well, yeah. His body can't take it. I, I like the I like the surprise entries. I like the guys that come back for a part time thing because it keeps it special. Mm-hmm. The Sting. I love that Sting is literally in here for just WrestleMania right now, and there's no other plans. I love that because you don't know when you're going to see him. Right. And, and I'm a huge WCW fan. We know this. And seeing Sting in the WWE, and he's like showing up on Raw, and he's done it two times now. And I'm like, oh, he's on Raw. Maybe he'll be on the next Raw, and he's on the next Raw. Well, and we don't really want to. We want you don't want to have him on a freaking battleground. Really? That's mm-hmm. a pay per view you don't have him on. Please, we want to see him on SummerSlam. We want to see him at the Rumble. We want to see him at Survivor Series. The major pay per views that are going to draw the biggest crowds is when you want your biggest wrestler to show up. Yeah, like he'll be he'll be on SummerSlam. Come Thing on, will man! Be <laughs> if you don't get a smile on your face, I swear. Look, I'm gonna show you this. With that, <laughs> there you go. All right, thank you. Smile a little bit, dude. It's all right. Stop being – come on, it's WrestleMania season. We got WrestleMania in three days. You got the stinger against Triple H. <laughs> come on, man. You can't get no better than that. You got Brock Lesnar against Roman Reigns. Whatever. <laughs> now you just made it bad. Now you, you just made it hey, bad. You got smiling and hey, now you just uh, – you, <laughs> you got Seth Rollins against Randy Orton. There you go. You That's got the better the, one. You got oh, the Battle Royal. You come on, man! Now, now if you I don't, get, if you don't get a little cheer in your face, the nope. ladder match. <laughs> come on, you got AJ Lee. Is that better? That's you, my smile. Face. You got the weird chicks against the Bellas. You the weird Paige. chicks. Yeah, huh? You got Paige. What's better than that? Exactly. I knew there was a reason you were on this show. Paige is hot. I just like I talking about Paige. Was a reason. I could just talk about Paige all, right. all day. Well, I could too. All right, we let's move on because we got we got a lot to talk about. We spent a lot of time on Lesnar and other things. Uh, let's go right into uh, we did a top five. All right, we'll do our top five sound off. Then we'll do raw. Uh, this week's top five was top five main events of all time. That doesn't mean Hogan and Rock because it wasn't a main event. It was before the main event. Uh, it has to be the last match of the night. So, here we go. WWA Sound Off, where your voice can be heard. Sound off, let them know how you feel. The anger inside is real. Y'all want me to go first? Shoot. All right, because, I don't know. It, you, would you really go first? Would that make you smile if you went first? I mean, you know, if I'm allowed to. Yeah, absolutely. Because, man. you know, you guys are making so much money. You know, so. <laughs> hey, somebody's got to make money, man. Somebody runs it. Somebody's got – hey, when I put beats, the the butts in seats, and I put people on the headphones to listen to us, then, yeah, I get the money. <laughs> All right, Vince. God. Hey. Money talks. <laughs> Go ahead. Come All on. Right, you only got um, three minutes. Oh, man, that's that's not a lot of time. Uh, all right, well, for my five, uh, the first one I want to talk about is the uh, WrestleMania 26. The last the last one of the night was The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. Mm. That, was the, that was actually the last match. I like that one. All right, I mean, I know, say what you want, 25 was great. 25 was good, but I think 26 was better. I think they outshined the match they did in 25. I do. Do I absolutely agree with that one? Because yeah. I I love the entrance of Shawn Michaels coming down like God, wearing all white. And yeah. All that. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, no, uh, I, I might put I, this one might should have been probably like three or so. So um, also the one with uh, Shawn Michaels and uh, Bret Hart. I mean, come on. Yeah. WrestleMania 12 in Hollywood. Well, what well, was the other reason? Come on, dude. What do you mean? What was the other reason? It was a 60 minute. Iron Man. Yeah, no, yeah. but that's what I'm saying, though. It's 60 man Iron Man. No, now. not 60 Six, man. I'm sorry. 60 minute. You, you get me all, like, <laughs> flustered here, man. God. <laughs> Let me talk. So I'm just, uh, I'm not trying to cut you off, but you said 60 man. Well, you know, this is what happens when we talk about Brock Lesnar, that I can't talk, and God. <laughs> all right, so. Hey, Steven. Damn it. <laughs> All right, there you, go. you just need to get paid. <laughs> All right, but no, but see, I love that match because he, he needs one, to get something with aid. One, 60, 60 minutes, and nobody, nobody pinned for the whole 60 minutes, and they went to a sudden death. 
I mean, uh, when when have you seen that? When have you seen that? Never. Uh, one, we've never seen that. I don't think again. Nope. We've never seen an Iron Man match where it's went zero zero. Do you mean ever ever again? Yeah. Ever ever. No, it's ever again. Again. Okay? Again. 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 I, again. <laughs> He got it. Right. No, I knew what he was saying. I know you knew what was. All right. So I like that one. Um, the other one, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this one. Uh, Dude, um, it's okay. You can get heat anyway. Uh, oh, God. Uh, the Sid Justice versus Hulk Hogan. <laughs> WrestleMania. <laughs> WrestleMania 9. No. WrestleMania 8. Thank you. Yeah. Eight. Um, I Sorry. wanted to put the other one, but uh, the um, somebody told me I couldn't because it wasn't the match. It of wasn't. The night. It was Flair, double main event. It doesn't. <laughs> it was not the last match of the night. You're right. And that's the one I wanted to put. But I'll take the Sid Justice and Hulk Hogan <laughs> any day of the week. That's a shout out to JP. <laughs> so. That's your number two? No, actually, that's going to be probably. That's before the others. But I, So it's a number three? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's before the others, there's a three, right? Yes. All right. So I like that one. And really? Look, I like that one because, one, uh, uh, this was like Hogan's kind of last last WrestleMania he really did. and it, That's not true. He no, did WrestleMania 9. Yeah, but I'm saying like last WrestleMania that he really like main evented in. He didn't really main event in WrestleMania 9. No, that was Bret he Hart. He won the and, world title. Yeah. But that was Bret Hart and Yokozuna. Technically, yeah. it was the main event because he did win the title, and it was a match. I am not counting Because that. the bell said <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> the bell said ding. Yep. If I remember correctly, I'm, yes. like I said, still catching up on old WWF here. Yes. Yokozuna beat Hart, did he not? Exactly. And yeah. then, uh, did he beat Hart for the title? Yes. And then Hogan came out there and was like talking to him. He was pep talking him. He was, and then he yep. went, walked in there, basically Bret beat Hart him right said, there. Go in the ring and beat him. Yeah. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay. Which made no yeah. sense to me, but. <laughs> I was just making right, sure whatever. I was getting the right one because right. I was like, that was a yeah. really strange ending. Well, yeah, that, it but was. I, whatever. All right. Well, the other ones will, will be better. All right. Well, don't. don't. <laughs> okay. So, uh, number two. I mean, come on, Rock versus um, Rock versus Stone Cold, Which WrestleMania one? 15. Okay, the one that started it all to me was good. Yep. I mean, it was a, uh, if I remember correctly, no disqualification, and mankind was supposed to be the referee, but that didn't happen. Mm. <laughs> I know what you mean. And I mean, it was that one was one of my favorites. Yes, 17 was good too, and 19, but. I think 15 was the one that started it all, and it was in such a small venue, in my opinion, too. It was in Phil in the spectrum. Yeah, and um, in that one of those bingo halls, um, <laughs> you know. Uh, and the last one, say what you will. I've already talked to people about this one, but my last one is WrestleMania 20 with Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and Chris Benoit. And I gotta give it. I know. I probably I took your I took yours. I know I did. This is it's okay. I like you took some look, of all of ours, but we have one. right different. Here's the reason you're I good, like this good. one, and it's not because of Chris Benoit. As much as you want to say about Chris Benoit, phenomenal mm-hmm. wrestler, but I feel that they did take the show away from Shawn Michaels and Triple H because that was the storyline at the time with the whole, you yeah. know, the the uh, whole rivalry. Yeah. But I mean, I, I did like that Chris Benoit <laughs> won it and everything. But I think it was it was such a good match. I mean, Shawn Michaels was bloody. From the whole, like for the whole match, and it was just good. Let's take a break, come All back, right. and we can talk about it some more. All we right. can tear it out apart. All right, um. you're listening to Wrestling <laughs> Attitude. This is the inspirational savior of wrestling, The Summit. 
<laughs> that was a memorable. In Los Angeles, yes. the stars of stars. Here comes the pain. The <laughs> ain't what Sable said. Because you got to be a bow lever. Uh, that's the reason we call him the show off, not the spell off. Okay. It wasn't as good as Bo Dallas. Bo stake it. Bo mischief thing. Bo hating. Bo up. You can slap tornadoes. I can climb a mountain because I'll be at the top of the summit. You're listening to Wrestling with Attitude on Stitcher, on Spreaker, and on iTunes. Follow us on Twitter at WWA Show. Like us on Facebook at Wrestling with Attitude. And go to our website at WrestlingWithAttitude.com. And just believe in Wrestling with Attitude. All right, welcome back to wrestling. What in the, are you letting those fly? Yeah, I'm about leaving. Hey, no, 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 no. We didn't tell Dutch yet. Oh no, the no. greatest oh. tag team to date is coming. Mm. Bo Breeze. No way. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Your face. Oh my god. You're wait, like, wait. What? Breeze is coming over. Who? Breeze is finally coming. So well, supposedly they've been wrestling main event. Uh, they've been wrestling at live events throughout Maybe. the country together. Maybe and I'll like it. Their name together is Bo Breeze. Maybe Tyler I will Breeze like slash <laughs> Team Man Pretty with stained glass. Hey, with stained glass. I need something to like Bo Dallas. So maybe this will be it, dude. I'm telling you. You will love Bo Dallas when he comes back. I can see them as a good tag team, yeah. though. I will give you that. Uh, but before we went to break, we were doing we were we we're talking about sound off. Uh, Steven was talking about his top five. Look, dude, like I said during the break, I think the Benoit Michaels mm-hmm. and Triple H match was great. I wouldn't put it in my top five, but I understand why you did. Yeah, the reason it to me it's not a top five. Is because it could have been so much better. It could have. I feel like Triple H and Shawn Michaels were such big names. They took away from Benoit. But they took some of the spotlight. Let me say the spotlight away from. Them. You know though, but see, I think it the other way though. I th- I see that Benoit. I feel take the spotlight from them because um, I feel that they um, actually. Like, because, like you said, Benoit, Eddie, all of them, they were getting over finally because they've been in, you know, they just came from WCW like a year or two ago. So they were getting over more, I feel. Like, I feel that Benoit took some of the spotlight from Shawn Michaels and Triple H because it could have been, they should have just made that a Triple H Shawn Michaels match and had Benoit in his own match and let him steal the show. Right. Because, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. Because Eddie and Kurt Angle was great, dude. Oh, God. I would love to see Benoit against. Jericho or somebody else for yeah. the title. That'd have been beautiful. Jericho and, and Ben. I mean, don't forget me wrong. I love Christian and Jericho, and that was the night, you know, the most beautiful woman in the world, Trish Stratus, turned heel. <laughs> I, you know, I'm just saying. That was awesome, by the way. I, I went back and watched that. Oh, my <laughs> God. That dirty look. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, man. Captain Charisma. Whew. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so my five are... I really liked WrestleMania 21 with JBL and Cena. JBL. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Undisputed right. Championship. I'm trying to remember that one. I thought it was 22. Was that 21? Mm-hmm. It was. I really liked that match. Uh, that's when Cena was new on the scene. He was his own thing. Yeah. He wasn't copping anything off. He wasn't really gimmicky like he. No, I'm not. I'm he so was much thugging monic, thugging thugging monic, monic, and still. that's what I liked because he was himself. That's, so you think I you're really like that one? Yeah. <laughs> So no, I really, I really like that one, and um, as you can see, I'm trying not to go all former WCW stars. So you Dude, will, you're fine. Fine. Whatever. you will, <laughs> do <Dude>, whatever. <laughs> um, number number four for me was uh, Jericho versus Triple H for the undisputed championship. The, Eighteen, yeah, unifying the titles and of everything. Course. Love that match. Loved it. Thought it, that one was really good. Um, number three, Hogan versus Giant. Andre the Giant, that's classic. I mean, there needs no paragraph for that. I mean, it speaks for itself. I love it. I mean, you have the I, not the icon, but you know, the immortal Hulk Hogan going against somebody that wasn't ever pinned for what fifteen yeah. years, and then he finally did it at WrestleMania. It was fifteen years. Wow. Yeah, it was yeah, fifteen years. I didn't yeah. know it was fifteen years. It was 15 that he wasn't years. pinned. Um, no, nope, never beaten fifteen years. <laughs> of course, back then he wrestled once. A month. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I mean, really? yeah, you want to talk about part-time. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude, yeah. 
He was on a part time contract. I didn't know that. See, I thought I thought Andre wrestled like every night. No. Yeah. Well, I thought he wrestled at least every week. Dude, sometimes he flies to China, and he was afraid of flying. Supposedly, really? And yeah. But we well, think about it. He's seven foot five, five hundred pounds, <laughs> sitting on a plane for eighteen hours. Yeah, you okay. can't really go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's hard to. Anyway, sorry. Uh, no, you're good. Russell, <laughs> WrestleMania 20. Right. right. Triple H, Benoit, Michaels. We I already mean, talked on, about yeah. that. That's yep. to me classic. Yeah. All right. Um, then we're gonna go into my final two. We got Austin versus Michaels with uh, Mike Tyson as the enforcer. Of course. I love that match, and I'm not a Stone Cold fan. I, I'm. I've never been a Stone Cold fan, but that match in particular. I loved it. Right. Loved it. Um, and then, of course, my favorite WrestleMania main event all time, Lesnar versus Kurt Angle. <laughs> I loved <laughs> the performance that both of them put on. They was so, And I think the one thing that really just got me like into the match was when Lesnar attempted that shooting star press. I'm like, what is he doing? And he, he yeah. did it, and then... He like crashed and burned, and I was just like, "What? This no, is crazy!" That, that would that's on my top ten. Yeah, definitely. Well, see, I like that one, and you know, this is gonna blow James's mind here. But why you, wow, know, you I, did some what? I used to be a Brock Lesnar fan back in the day, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> please, when I was a Brock Lesnar fan, the reason yeah. I like it is because of the whole shooting star press. I mean, he broke his he broke his neck, didn't no, he? he did. He no, almost he kinda, did. He, he almost yeah, in. almost broke his neck. And I mean, well, it just shows you how much these I mean, two the, were going to go to put yeah. on the best show, and that's what really. I mean, no, I, I can't say just that for that because if you look at Triple H, Benoit, and Michaels too, the stuff that Benoit went through in that match was crazy. Yeah. I mean, he took everything. But I think the, Kurt Angle and, and Brock Lesnar were like the perfect pair well, for each other. Well, yeah. let me tell you, okay. You have entertainers, you have wrestlers. Hulk Hogan, greatest entertainer, wrestler of all time. Mm-hmm. Ric Flair, right there, number two. Mm-hmm. If you go pure wrestling, it's Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar. Of course. Hands down. I don't care what anybody else says, best two wrestlers to ever step in a ring is are those two. I know Benoit was great. I know all of these other guys were great. But Kurt Angle and... And Brock Lesnar were NCAA champions. Kurt Angle won a Olympic medal in wrestling. And to me, wrestling starts when you're an amateur. Yo, that's yeah. when it starts. Yeah. 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 And you go up. Uh, you know, that's where it's called professional. Mm-hmm. I know it's not the same wrestling, but the best people to come out, that's the reason to me, if you include a wrestler, the gold standard, is a top ten wrestler of mm-hmm. all time mm-hmm. because how great he Shelton Benjamin, oh, Shel- uh, yeah, how yeah. great he was as a amateur, you know that. I, yeah, I, I, I love that. Stone Cold, all the other people, but a pure wrestling ability is different, oh, and he's yeah. one of the greatest. They ever. were entertainers, like you said. Uh, moving on to my top five uh, number, f- and y'all said everyone in mine but one. Uh, number five was Austin versus Michael WrestleMania fourteen. With Mike Tyson, uh, you know that's one of the greatest. That really got me into WWE. That was the first. I mean, I watched WrestleManias, but I watched them really more. I watched it every single week after that main event. Uh, Michaels versus Undertaker WrestleMania 26. Wow. I mean, wow. this last one. What? Well, I, I wasn't expecting that one. one. I, I thought you always liked the 25 one because you you've always told me like I mean. But I had to look at everything. Twenty five wasn't the main event. Yeah, and it wasn't. But I mean, but twenty five wasn't that, the main uh, event. Was twenty five? I mean, I think twenty six was better than twenty five. No, in the- I, I do too because they were equally as good, but they took it to the next level. Yeah, just like if you look at resume twenty seven to resume twenty eight, they did. Okay, to me, resume twenty seven was better. But they, that's I was I'm kind of partial to it because I was there <laughs> in the building. Yeah. Uh, if I was in 28, I'm sure I would love 28 better than 27. Just as much, yeah. Uh, right. But they had the hell in the cell and different things to it. And okay. Shawn Michaels, anyway. Uh, number three was Austin versus The Rock, WrestleMania 15. Like I said, WrestleMania 14 got me into it. Hogan, or Rock and Austin put me over the top. 
yeah. because I was a huge, awesome fan. Uh, number two, Andre versus Hogan, WrestleMania 3. I mean, dude, that's, that's <laughs> no, WrestleMania 3. That's, to me, that's the biggest event ever. I remember going to school the next day telling everybody, or the day before, watch this match. Hogan's going to win. Everybody looked at me like, nope, you crazy. Everybody told me, you're an <laughs> idiot. I was like, all right. I love that, though, because uh, uh, Hogan was technically the underdog in the Absolutely. match. Absolutely, yeah. It's funny, what? too, that um, if we knew what we knew now, and I mean, not knowledge-wise, as in who would win, but just watching wrestling and stuff like that, I wonder now, if we go back in that time when WrestleMania, WrestleMania three happened, leading up to it, would you say Hogan would win? You know what I mean? Like, with our knowledge that we have now. No, because it's Andre. Yeah. You, yeah. I mean, you don't... You don't go against the big guy usually. Yeah, you I, don't. I mean, think about it. You had – Well, nowadays you would. you more inclined to – you still wouldn't, though. I mean, say what you want. When John Cena fights the big show, you don't think automatically John Cena – okay, before he came Super Cena. <laughs> uh, okay. you, there you, we go. You wouldn't exactly think – Okay, the big show is going to lose to John Cena. You yeah. you wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, like WrestleMania tw- two thousand, you know, people thought Big Show was going to win that match yeah. the four way. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, because no, it's you're a right. four way. It's the bigger guy yeah. syndrome. It's the big guy syndrome. The big guy syndrome. <laughs> the BGS. You, just, you usually go with the big guy. Yeah, you do. You're right. I, I mean, I agree with you like on that. Sid Justice and Hogan. You People went, were actually going with justice because better. they thought Hogan was going away, and they were handing the baton over to uh, Sid Justice. It's a big baton, right? Though. But they they <laughs> thought they were handing off. Yeah, you, no, you I, go I with that. the big guy. Get, tell me one time, you know, we didn't think Ray Mysterio was going to beat Randy Orton and Triple H in a main no, event at WrestleMania. Yeah, we, no, we never Did thought we? that. No, never. It can't. Well, maybe one person in this room maybe thought that. Hey, I called I, it. I, I'm What's wrong with that? I called no, but it. But most people don't. You yeah, judge. Yeah. You do a poll of people, and I guarantee you the polls don't go with the bigger guy. I yeah. agree. Unless your name's Super Cena now. But you got to remember, we didn't know Hogan back then was going to be what he was going against Andre. Yeah. We didn't think he was going to be Super Hogan. Well, I mean, he beat King Kong, or he beat Bundy the year before. Dude. Anybody can beat Bundy. Are you see, It's the Walker Condominium, man. He's a big guy. In a way, he's a big guy. <laughs> I know he's a big guy, but all you had to do was – this was the same time Mike Tyson's punch-out came out. You remember you hit the guy in the gut, and he goes, woo, you know, he falls down. That's what all you had to do to King Kong Bundy was him in the gut, and he falls. He was at the easy version of Mike Tyson's punch-out because I did not have that version. I had that one. You hit him in the gut, he fell out. Oh, okay. <laughs> but my point is, dude, is we don't know. I mean, I'm just yeah. saying. Hey, no, I, I agree with you. I well, do. Uh, you have the modern day match now. You have Reigns and Lesnar. Right, because they're the, the big guy. Yeah, yeah. and everybody's going yeah. for Lesnar because he is the big guy. Yeah. You're right. Well, that and they don't really. We'll get into it. They don't care for Reigns. Like, yeah. People are yeah. booing them. Uh, number one to me. All right. WrestleMania five, Hogan Savage. Ah man, I thought it was going to be something else. I, I have to put. And I'll ask you a minute. I have to put this mm. number one. It was that time period to me. WrestleMania three, four, five. Nothing else like it. Okay. Nothing else like it because of Hogan and Savage. Of course, it's my era. People will say now. Cena against somebody, the Triple H, or yeah, no, no one will say the Miz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Whoa. joking. Calm down. I, I almost put it in my top ten. No, I, I think I no, no, I didn't. Man, I'm surprised. I really am. You, you, I, I was expecting two WrestleManias. I did not hear on your Which list. Which one? Well, first, the greatest 17. WrestleMania ever, WrestleMania 17, and WrestleMania four. Okay, there's two reasons I didn't put WrestleMania 17. Well, there's one reason I didn't put 17, uh, WrestleMania 15. Okay. Okay. The, the, to me, the original is always better. The yeah. original is always better. You All watch right. Rocky, Rocky 1 is better than Rocky 2. You That's watch true. Lethal <laughs> Weapon 1, you like Lethal Weapon 1 more than Lethal Weapon 2. <laughs> uh, the Smurfs, you like 1 over 2. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'm just saying. I don't know if you watch the Smurfs. I'm nope. just saying. No, I'm not. <laughs> you, you like the original usually is better. 
I ain't gonna say Twilight because I'm sure you watch all the Twilights that I don't watch. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Third, yeah. <laughs> moving on okay. from that. That's but I'm horrible. surprised that you didn't put WrestleMania four. Well, WrestleMania that. four, I had I wanted to put Hogan. All right, and yeah. I, I love Ted DiBiase, but it was too too predictable. I guess you kind of you know with Hogan and Savage, it was the first time it was the breakup of the mega powers. Okay, it you know what like this year if they would have done. The Shield, if they would have done Ambrose, Reigns, and Rollins, that would be my top five. If they would have done it this year. Because you broke up the major group, and then you had them all fight at WrestleMania. Yeah. Do you know how much money that would have made this year? Oh, man. I'm just saying. Because people just... love Ambrose. People love Reigns. And Rollins, people hate and love Rollins. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. No, I, I get that. Well, I mean, because if I remember correctly, WrestleMania four, the poster and everything was mostly wasn't it Hogan and it was Hogan and Andre because it was supposed to be the rematch. Yeah, because right? they just had the biggest WrestleMania, WrestleMania three with Andre and Hogan, mm-hmm. and then they had that whole storyline. Those were the best storylines from WrestleMania three or WrestleMania five. Yeah, I, I just think that. it was because Mega Powers, everything they had going into it. But that's All the right. reason I picked five. Okay, I just. It was it was too. Yeah, I mean the tournament. I loved the whole tournament thing, but WrestleMania Five. There was one main event. We knew what the main event was. We went to it. Okay. We didn't know what the main event was going to be in WrestleMania Four until yeah. that day. Uh, but that's the reason I've got that number one. All right. uh, we had one. We I know we had one vote that was on the Savage versus Hogan, okay. uh, and of course Elizabeth was in the corner. So. Well, yeah, that made, like, the whole match, in my opinion. Yeah, that helped. Uh, I know it wasn't technically the greatest matches of all time, but it drew the most money, and that's what matters in wrestling. <laughs> it does. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, next week, our top ten is strangest bedfellows in wrestling. Oh, God. Okay. Yep, strangest bedfellows. Strangest bedfellows. WWE, you have explaining to do when you with your network and your countdowns and your Brock Lesnar signings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just everything you do. There's a lot to explain. Yeah. Well. No, but so um, you know, uh, we've got Raw. We're going to start talking about Raw and everything. That was a decent right? Raw too. It was decent. No, but um. Uh, talking about though the uh, countdown for next week, we will have the strangest bedfellows. Uh, strangest bedfellows. We'll we'll explain that more, and we'll have a poll up uh, by the end of the week uh, for strangest bedfellows. Correct? Yeah, and you can tweet us at WWE mm-hmm. Show the top ten, and we'll share, share it on the show. Yeah, and let us know your strangest bedfellows. Any that we don't strangest know. bedfellows does not mean people in your bed. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> people think that, no, but it doesn't. It mean means that. the strangest tag teams of all time. I know what it means. Or the <laughs> strangest alignment of people. Yeah, yeah, of, uh, together. Yeah, like well, one that everybody probably knows is like um, Booker T and Goldust. That one, right? That one's big. And no, Daniel Bryan and Kane. I didn't want to mention that one, but thanks for doing People's it for me. Going to. <laughs> I know. Team Hell No. I did right. not get to see that tag team. Y- you didn't miss anything. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. But you know what you did miss? You missed the greatest tag team champion of all time. He's sitting in this row. That's right. <laughs> I am the greatest tag team champion of all time. Uh, you know, we'll talk about Raw and then we'll go into picks. Uh, this week they were from Los Angeles. Stars uh, of stars. Yeah. The first <laughs> first thing that happened, Sting came out. Uh, he actually speaks this week. I love it. Uh, Stephanie comes out. She said, welcome to the big leagues. I thought that was great. <laughs> uh, they went back and forth. Uh, it was great to hear Sting finally talk it, you in know, WWE. I take back what I said last week about, you know, I, I want to see Sting talk and all that. Great. Great stuff that he did this week. And last week with uh, Orton, the whole um, they talked after Raw. Great. So it, it, I feel like you're getting both stings. You're getting like the, the, the 80s sting, 
or the '90s thing, and you're getting like the the Crows thing. Like you're getting like a mesh. I Ooh, like you it. Were. Um, I really liked how they did the WCW play too. Yeah. I mean, they really brought that back up. They were really cool about it. I mean, they just good flow. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I thought it was very interesting how much they talked about it, but I thought it was cool how she kind of tried to down him, and, and no <laughs> well, matter Stephanie McMahon. yeah, and no matter and, and I thought that too. I was like, that's typical Stephanie McMahon. Yeah. But at the same time, you can look at Sting, and of course he's smiling, shaking his head, like, okay, yeah, I know where you're going oh, with this. Great. It's, it's yeah. totally cool because you know they were going to want to sorry bring no, up the fine. Monday Night Wars and everything, and yeah. WCW kicked the crap out of WWE, but of course she failed to mention that, of course. Uh, well, you ain't going to mention that, dude. Come yeah. on. Sting, it's great to see Sting. Sting will always be a top five talker. Yeah. No matter what he does, he's always going to be a top five talker. Uh, so it's great to see him, mm-hmm. and I love the interaction of him and Stephanie. Yeah. Uh, Triple H comes out. Uh, well, after Stephanie went for a slap, uh, Sting blocked it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh, Triple H came out. Stephanie hands him a sledgehammer. Sting, Sting brings out the bat. He's got like a, a compartment in his. Mm-hmm. He has yeah. to. He always has that bat. That one was really cool. I just pulls it out of the, the jacket. Just, that was cool. Yeah. Triple H and Stephanie leave uh, after he brings the bat out. Uh, she says, wait until WrestleMania to deal with it. I'm, I'm glad these two's not really having their interactions. I'm, I wish they would have more of a build up before this week's face to face. Yeah, maybe, but not wait for what? Oh, the crowd loved it. They were chanting "fight," and of course, you, it, it just built the but, tension. But that's great. Yeah, yeah, it built the tension between the two because Los Angeles was like wanting them to tear each other apart, and you're just like, no, not yep. yet. Yeah, not, that means WrestleMania is going to be great. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's going to be good. Uh, Ambrose versus r Truth. Versus, or Ambrose and R Truth versus Stardust and Harper. Uh, R Truth wins with Little Jimmy. I guess <laughs> that, that's what he calls it. Or it? paid dirt or whatever else you want to call it this Truth week. Truth and consequences. <laughs> Actually, that, that would have been better. That's not a good one. Actually, that was pretty good. Thank you. I give you credit for uh, making one up this week. Well, <laughs> hey, I gotta have one. I gotta have one good thing out uh, of the show. Barrett was on commentary. He leaves after the match. Uh, then Ambrose and R Truth danced together. This was great. That was funny. Uh, I loved Ambrose. He's like, oh, oh, you don't think I can dance? Yeah. <laughs> and then when they go to break. They come back, and Renee Young, his girlfriend, comes out, introduces the Special Olympics. That was, was that was a good moment. They're gonna be the host of LA. It was or good. Heart- hosting LA. Yeah. It was a good heartfelt moment. Yeah. Uh, Mix and Miz, Miz Dow. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, Ex- excuse me. Spell that check changes the mix. Yeah, uh, <laughs> even spell check doesn't know who you are, Miz. <laughs> <laughs> but Miz Dow's correct. Just say it. There's no correction on you Miz Dow. Hear that, Dow. Miz? Miz Dow is correct. Actually, on spell remind check. me to tweet him. Hey, Miz, I'm gonna send you a tweet. WWE show. <laughs> Auto correct corrects me. On your name, but not on Ms. Dow. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You're going out. I know. Then we had uh, Ms. and Ms. Dow interview with Real Fair and Kevin Hart. Oh, God. They told Ms. Dow he had that look of an actor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, and then Ms. and Ms. Dow and Adam Rose and the Ascension. Versus Titus O'Neil, Darren Young, and the primetime players. Rowan, Ryder, and Ryback. Your boy is there. And Bill Simmons is on commentary because it fits right in. Explain this to me because what? I know you guys probably know who Bill Simmons is. I don't. He, I'm sorry. He <laughs> he does Grantland. Okay. Uh, Grantland.com. He's the ESPN guy. Uh, he works on the NBA set when they do basketball games okay. on ABC. Uh, or ESPN and ES ABC, excuse me. Uh, and I love that he, he dressed up. He's for a that. great. He's a very good writer. He's a very. He's a very good writer, dude. He doesn't need to get dressed up. Seriously, now you dude, got, he wear like a now, freaking t-shirt. Now you it? got a problem with somebody's outfit? Yeah. Cause Wait a minute, hold. On. If Two chains or no? Wiz Khalifa or <laughs> or hey. or Wizzy Cat oh. or 
or Milky Doodah, you don't say anything about this guy, but you say something about <laughs> well, you're a Bill sports Simmons. commentator. You better, really? You got you got to no, you play don't. The part, man. Really? But Wiz Khalifa can take his shirt off during a performance. I didn't say, say hey. here I am, yo B, yo B, hey B, <laughs> I like you B. Yo, I you didn't... a W to the B because I'm a C to the A. I mean, really? <laughs> Is that you rapping? Because that's a little weird, man. <laughs> My point is, that's okay. But Bill Simmons comes out in a t-shirt, and little Steven doesn't like it. I don't like it. Bill Simmons, I'm sorry for my co-host. For that he says he doesn't like your outfit. You should come out in a suit. And you should. Tie. You should. From you now, are a sports I tell you what, commentator. From now on, you're a radio host. When you come in this show, you need to be in a suit and tie. All right, I will. Every week, every week, right. I will wear a suit and tie. All right, thank you, Tommy Thomas. You but we'll do that next. We- we'll do that next year. Yeah. You heard it first here on <laughs> yeah. WWA. All right, all right. yeah, Let's 2016. Go. Can we move on now? <laughs> all right, we got we got to close. We got to finish up Raw real fast. All right, uh, damn. But Ryback wins with the shell shock on the Miz. Uh, Orton versus Seth Rollins and J&J security after f- fan. Voting because they sure will not vote for Kane in the big show. Uh, so Orton wins with RKO on Noble. Uh, they show Cena on WWE.com interview with Michael Cole. Uh, he says he's gonna take the belt at WrestleMania. Then we got Paige and AJ backstage. Uh, they come out and take on Paige, takes on Nikki for the Divas title. AJ accidentally hits Paige. Nikki throws Paige back in the ring. Nikki hits the rack attack for the win. The rack attack. Uh, <laughs> rack attack special. Every time. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I, I don't have very much longer to say it, so I need to put it in when I can. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, AJ accidentally hit, like I said, hits Paige. Paige goes after AJ to get in a fight. And then the best segment of the night, Snoop Dogg comes out. Axel Mania comes out. Hogan comes out, the original. Hogan asks Snoop what this brother is thinking or smoking. Uh, Snoop and Hogan throw out Axel out of the ring, and he's finally eliminated. Well, oh, no, from the Rumble, right? No, uh, not yet. He's still in it. <laughs> still in it. Still in then it. we got the interspecies tag team match that I always love to see. Los Matadors and El Dorito, because he's a Dorito chip, <laughs> versus Kid and Cesaro and Natalia. Uh, the Dorito chip pins Natalia. I, I'm so glad she's fallen so far. Uh, then we got Wade Barrett backstage with Kane. Kane takes his title and takes Barrett's title to put over the ring tonight, which I didn't understand this. He took the title from... And it wasn't a title match. Why are you taking it on at Raw? It just it kind of blew my I mind. I think just to set up, like like remember how they did that with the ascending of the championships, like when they were unifying, they they just kept it up there for the whole week or whatever. I think that's what they were. But doing. you had to give Kane something to do yeah. to go take the title from him. Yeah, <laughs> that's he, it's stupid. I, I mean, maybe why not have. I don't know, the guy that keeps stealing the title, our truth <laughs> and maybe let him ta- take it and hide it from the ring and put it above the ring. That would have made more sense. It would have made more than sense. Than Kane. Yeah. Look, I'm the director of oper- operations. I need to have your title. That's the greatest Kane impression I've ever no, seen, a, by the way. I breathe fire yeah. once again. <laughs> <laughs> he, it, it just... It was really weird. He he told Barrett, "Oh, you finally have that your possession. Why don't you give it to me? Because you can't seem to do that." And then that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And and then he puts it right up there where somebody can steal it again. It's like, all right. (laughs) And then we got Rusev versus Swagger Part Eight. (laughs) It is Part Eight. Yeah. Rusev wins with the Acolyte. Hey, uh, Jack Swagger. In case you haven't noticed yet, welcome to the Pink Slip Line. Because when they do first cuts, buddy, you're gone. No. I say, I say Zack Ryder needs to be gone before that. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. We don't say that. Oh. We, don't say that we don't say that. Shh. I'm, Woo-woo. I'm loving it. You getting a paid check out the door. <laughs> uh, anyway, Cena comes out uh, after Rusa wins, and he holds. Rusa beats up Cena. I still hate Lana's not been out. 
Uh, Russo puts Cena in the acolyte on the announce table, and he passes out. So we know who's going to win the match Sunday. Thank mm-hmm. you. What? Well, yeah, but it, here, here's the one thing I want to know, though, is, um, I mean, you think you're going to see Lana at WrestleMania? I don't know. She's filming a movie. I'm really confused about this. Yeah. I know. We'll, we'll see. Right. She's filming a movie, dude. She okay. probably will be there. All she got to do is put on a tight dress, some heels, and walk out to the ring. It takes a little she bit ain't of time do a to bunch. do that. <laughs> it's, it's getting to the point now where Lana is getting such a big draw that it's almost like Tori Wilson or Stacey Keebler esque. I mean, it's yeah. She's it's no. She's crazy. gonna be big. Whoa, yes. whoa, 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 All right. whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know it. Listen. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> you never ever compare uh, Lana's getting up there to Tori Wilson on this show. Tori Wilson, see, I, I, wait, wait, what's wrong with Tori Wilson? I forgot to tell is you, my great is my that's, favorite diva. Oh, yeah, yeah. I Me forgot too. to tell you, Tori Wilson well, is like the diva to him. Yes, <laughs> she's the diva Stacey to Keebler, me too. Yeah, Stacy Keeler, the <laughs> legs are right there with me. Yeah, and oh, I, I mean, like, look at Billy Kidman. It wasn't because Billy Kidman was coming out there. When he came out there, people were like, Tori Wilson, all right. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He was and that's forgotten. the way. And but, Russo's, yeah, Tori Wilson's uh, my. Uh, yeah, no, I know too. what you're saying. Me too. Uh, Tori's the best. Wyatt comes out, the lights flicker on and off because they didn't pay the power bill. <laughs> uh, Wyatt says Undertaker is guilty. He is the new face of fear because he lost to Ambrose at the main event. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you new face of fear, right, buddy? (laughs) Yep, you lost at WrestleMania to... I'm not afraid of this guy. I mean, come on. It's because of Cena. Cena If he wasn't lost to Cena last year, then I I wouldn't be afraid. I just... I don't know. Then they do Kevin Nash inducting, you know, being in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Natalia's backstage. Oh, yeah. Best segment tonight. Uh, Natalia's backstage. Kid has a bag of Burger King. He says, you smell amazing, and how have I missed you? Natalia thought he was talking about her. He was actually talking about the burger. Chicken fries. The chicken fries. The chicken fries. Yeah, They're back. You. They're, They're back. back. Burger great. King. <laughs> uh, horrible. Then horrible. we have Brian versus Ziggler and Ambrose, a special guest referee. Hey, good match. <sighs> Ziggler wins with the zigzag. After the match, Ambrose hit, hits dirty D's on Ziggler. Uh, Ambrose gets a ladder. Uh, Stardust comes out. Barrett comes out. R Truth and Harper comes out. Harper pushes the ladder down as Barrett and Stardust are on the ladder and hurts himself. He pushes the ladder down and hurts himself. Well, he's out of the match. <laughs> I, I, I was okay. Everyone's laid out. They went commercial. I w- listen. This if it was a four way, I was okay with this. Now it's a seven man. You're forgetting Ambrose and everybody else. That's important. Yeah. Uh, Real quick. Supposedly, after this, home, after this, Ambrose is supposed to get a strong push, and it's supposed to be Ziggler and Brian for the IC title, and maybe Barrett mixed in. What did Harper actually uh, hurt himself? By the way, because I it did hit uh, his knee. I did the see. ladder hit his knee on the way down. Yeah, I could have. He but, acted. Uh, he acted like it hurt him, but it barely hit him. Yeah, okay. 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 That that's what I saw too. I was like, wait a minute, did that actually hit him, it or is like he selling it? <laughs> okay. And then we had Heyman knocks on Lesnar's door. Uh, Lesnar comes. Lesnar comes out with Heyman. Uh, another great Heyman promo. If you didn't watch it, watch it. Listen to it. It's great. Uh, Reigns comes out. This was the weakest main event. This was the weakest. Last segment of a Raw leading into WrestleMania that I can remember. Yeah. Uh, he comes out. He takes the title out of Lesnar's hands. The show ends as the two are pulling for the title. I yeah. Mean, is this the best you can do for a main – I mean, for a build-up? They could have done so Two much strong more. guys. You had – we've had no interaction with these two. None. That's the only time we've had an <laughs> interaction with us on that Raw. Never understood that. Well, they had one when he first won the Rumble because the snowstorm they had at the live at the studios in Connecticut. But that's it. I, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. What happened to one week the good guy gets the advantage, the next week the bad guy. The next week the good guy gets it, then the bad guy. Then the week before WrestleMania, the bad guy gets it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's no. money. I'm telling you. No, it's creative. Well, that's it's it. It's brains in your All head. Right, fine. That's it, but it's also money. <laughs> no, it's brains in your head, dude. <laughs> but anyway, go, talk about Raw if you want. Well. I just want to go through it. I mean, I'm okay with it. Uh, I, I wasn't okay with the ending. I mean, yeah, it could have been something a little bit better at the end. I mean, something mm-hmm. to like, I, that doesn't draw me into WrestleMania. I'm not looking forward to that main event. No offense. I mean, it's just, it was bland. Yeah. They could have done so much more. Yeah. I mean, tell you the truth, Bro- Brock Lesnar has made it more interesting because of the whole contract signing of WWE. That's it. If yeah. it was me, I would have had something like uh, have Reigns in a match and then have Lesnar come out from underneath the ring or something, F5 and boom. Yeah. And yeah, then, something. And, and, yeah. Your, and I mean, like, would anybody expect Lesnar to come out from underneath the ring? No, that's why you do it. <laughs> no. And I just, mean, he could come in there and not even put him through a table, power bomb him through I, a table I've or something. I've got one better. I've got one better. Why not have him and Daniel Bryan fight in the main event? Daniel Bryan hits him with the running wizard, the knee, the and knocks him out. Yeah. And then Lesnar comes out, picks him up, does the F five. Proves the point. Then oh, you oh. get you get you get Daniel Bryan some cheers. You get him going to re- why? I, I just don't understand. Yeah, yeah. And then you or you have Lesnar put him through a table. Another weak point of the show was like you already uh, you said it too when you were talking about it was Cena and Rusev. Just again knocked out. No, I'm, I'm okay of, with that though because you know you. Super Cena has to rise up. Yeah, and to rise. I was really waiting when Cena was on the other side of the ring and Rusev was walking away with the flag, or he was waving the flag, and he came back. I was like, "All right, Cena's gonna come back," and he did it. And I was like, "That's bad writing." Yeah, I didn't yeah. like that. It's super. Right. It was well, no, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. Go ahead. Finish. It was just what, point. no retaliation. I didn't like right. it. Yeah. I agree with you. All right, we're gonna take a break. Come back and do picks for WrestleMania. Ooh, You're yeah. listening to Wrestling with Attitude. Biscuits and gravy.
Wrestling with Attitude presents JP's I think I'm cute I know I'm sexy This is the Melting Pot, a.k.a. Six Month Champ And you're listening to Wrestling with Attitude Don't forget you can find every show on WrestlingWithAttitude.com don't forget to like us on Facebook at Wrestling With Attitude. And don't forget to tweet us on Twitter at WWA Show. All right, welcome back to Wrestling With Attitude. I wish you would stop dancing, Stephen, because it will be on YouTube, and I will put some different music behind it <laughs> next week. <laughs> Just kidding. So, uh, so you're not posing for any magazines, are you? Like yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually posing for Blake Girl now. So. Hey, how you, how you feeling over You're smiling? Yeah. Good, I hope so, because I'm going to keep showing this to you until you stop crying. <laughs> Look, you know why he's so happy? You see the two cakes? Yeah. He oh ate He ate half of it. I didn't and even eat any off. of it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, look, he's got cheesy fries right here, because you see the <laughs> grease on his fingers. And then he's got the cake to finish it off. Man, look how thin I was back then. That's thin? <laughs> <laughs> That's thin? Dude, you put two pounds away from becoming well, a fat bastard. Just well, saying. Oh. Well, well, I know what happened. Cheesy fries and cake at the same time. <laughs> hey, you can't have your cake look, at the man, same don't time. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay. Hey, don't knock it till you. If try you, it. if you, if everyone doesn't realize well, who that voice is, it's the Brock Lesnar of wrestling. Oh my attitude. god! Wait, wait. There's a bird. Oh there's my a god. plane. Oh my god! No, it's JP, the melting pot. He's actually on the show this week. <laughs> the contract. He's, get, is he's getting back. paid less than Brock Lesnar, which is a shame. He he might be getting twenty five cents here and there. <laughs> but if you notice, Brock Lesnar's had to work more shows lately than me. So it evens out in the end. <laughs> He's so, the Undertaker now of wrestling with attitude. Well, I, I actually I like to think of myself more like Sting. Well, <laughs> oh, still well, a crowd that, favorite, that kind, but yet I never say anything. That, that kind of leads into my next thing is you know he he's pretty much the boss of the area, yeah. and he's uh-huh. the champ. So and it's his birthday weekend, which is WrestleMania season, so it's Ooh. always special. Yeah. Me and the little guy over here actually chipped in and got you something for your birthday. So, and I want you to wear this instead of Dean Ambrose because you are the boss of this place. So, I just, I want you to know. <laughs> no, hold on a second. Holy cow. You are the boss. And the reason you are the boss, because you banks on it. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. So, happy birthday. I, thank you. And you know what? Actually, <laughs> since we're doing WrestleMania at my house, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all make sure to, I'm going to make sure y'all can see that I'll bank on it. Uh, <laughs> knows that I'm gonna actually give it its own chair. You know what? Though? I'm gonna actually wear both shirts that night. Are you really? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna factor in being the boss and the lunatic fringe all in the same night. That's impressive. And, you know, and, you know, he's gonna do it too. I can, I can, I can see it right and, now. And you know, and you know he's gonna say, song, "Wait a minute, let me go change and come back." You know, you know what my theme song is gonna be? What? Like a boss. Because that song is crazy, but you're the boss at the same time, so it's perfect. So both shirts play off the song. It's oh going to be awesome. Oh, my God. But, Somebody's going to wear boots. There will be a truck there. It's going to be a good time come Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this God. is your jam. Yes. Hey, I bet you he listens to this on the way home every oh, day. Oh, yeah, he does. Every day. Just. I mean, I don't right. hate it. I mean, but, yeah, we, we had to do that for you. Well, it will get warm. <laughs> Well, I'm glad there's some glitter on it. That even adds to it. That's so real awesome. gold. That's, yeah. that's real gold, yeah. by the way. Uh, 100 carat. That, yeah. That's how boss it is. Uh, uh, 100 carat. So, real gold. Hey, you, know, hey, you know what I'm going to do? Bank on it. Wear that shirt like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what you can do with that? You can take it to the bank. <laughs> Check's already been written, signed, and cashed. Legit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I think we just got the greatest I, Christmas, the birthday gift actually, he ever got. Actually, we, we, you know what? I'm going to go old school and go too legit to quit. Oh. <laughs> Did we just have an MC yeah. Hammer yeah, sighting? Hey, oh, MC awesome. Hammer, uh, wherever you are, you can't touch this, by the yeah. way. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Can you beat it? Oh, I'm sorry, different guy. No, actually, actually I'm going to add to this kit. Can we start over? <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me tell you what's happened in the last five minutes of this show. Not only has there been a Sasha Banks sighting, but there's also just been a Sid Vicious reference, okay? 
<laughs> when, I mean, like, is this live when, TV? When, when, when in the world should these two things ever go together? We had a Sid Justice um, mm-hmm. moment earlier. I said okay. he was one of my top five uh, main event. The only reason <laughs> you did that. Yes. The only reason you did that because you were banking on it. I was. I was banking on yeah. it. I put yeah. Hulk Hogan and Sid Justice in there as the best uh, WrestleMania okay. event. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I think we go in the Hall of Fame now, dude. I'm just saying. You know, we got Banks. Yeah. He's a legit boss. So I'm just yeah. saying. Mm hmm. Uh, speaking of, you know, Hall of Fame, we said we're talking about Kevin Nash earlier. Share your greatest memory of Kevin Nash. Just one. I know you got more than that. I, I'm going to go ahead and tell you my great – one of the greatest things that I love about Kevin Nash is the night on Nitro after they showed up and he tells Eric Bischoff off and he, like, pushes the microphone in his chest and throw, like pretty much throws him down in the seat. Because WCW had this big thing about where the big boys play, but yet you look at the roster, and There's Kevin Nash was, like, two foot taller than everybody, <laughs> except for maybe the Giant, but I don't even think he was there at the time yet. Or if yeah, he, was, he was, he was, like, so new that he wasn't really, like, a main event guy yet. So I just thought it was kind of funny about when you, when you look at the different companies. So I loved how Nash now leaves WWE as the top guy, because let, let's face it, right before he left, he was still champion i mean he dropped the title but he was champion so he goes from being the number one spot at a company going to another company getting paid way more money and then in the middle of their show kind of making fun of what they say about themselves i mean who could get away with that where they work right and still be like the top guy there yeah or one of so i i just think that whole angle i will admit i was i grew up i grew up a fan of both but i have to admit when when the Outsiders came in, when Scott Hall first showed up, I'll give it to WCW. You had me hook, line, and sinker yeah. of what was mm-hmm. going on. And as much as I love the attitude there, it, I'm telling you, if WCW would have had better people to him, oh, yeah. it would be, I think we'd be in a much different story today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's what I was talking about earlier when – Austin and Michaels with Mike Tyson. That's what flipped me to WWE. Well, that flip. I mean, again, I watched it, but not like I right. did. But again, when you look at that time period, though, not only did WWE, I mean, WWE, to their credit, changed a lot of things and grew into a bigger company with what they were doing. But WCW did not help themselves nope. by what they did within the company no. either. That, so. that changed, too, uh, when WCW went out. That was the same month of WrestleMania. Yeah. And uh, Triple H and Jericho fall, right? That's when it flipped for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get into the pay-per-view. Uh, WrestleMania is Sunday, like everybody knows. It starts at 5 o'clock, Michael Cole. Yeah. Michael, it starts at 5 for the kickoff yeah. show. Not 7, Michael. You, you know, this amazes me real quick that Michael Cole continues to mess up. <sighs> I think he does I mean, it on I mean, purpose. I mean, I, mean no. I don't want to down a guy. I think he does. I, I, listen, I don't want to down a guy because that's a hard position to be in to be really, really good. Let's face it. We've seen a lot of people come and go in those positions. Oh, yeah. But his mess ups are big. I know. You it's need... like the wrong time for WrestleMania. Really? That's like giving the wrong time to the Super Bowl right. guy. Yeah. It, I, it's time. I know they switched the announce teams up, but. Michael Cole does not need to be the lead announcer. Do I don't know who saying. else you're going to get, though. They, I don't know. Because I'm going to tell you what, that that little dude that works for TNA. Oh, Josh Matthews? I'm glad that uh, we let him go because go uh, watch TNA and see how bad that guy is. Well, there's a couple of things right now. He, well, yeah, he's horrible. I, listen, I know their product is subpar to WWE, but he <laughs> is terrible on the mic. Yeah. yeah, he's horrible. I don't know if it's Taz. I mean, Taz is not that great. But good lord, Taz worked with Jr. for a long but, Jr. and Keith for a long time. But part of that though is where they do it. They do it backstage. I know, I they know. don't do it out front. But, and to me, he, when you record it backstage yeah. and not out front, you don't get the feel. You don't yeah. get into it the way you but should. But he still has no charisma outside no, of doesn't. that. Though is what I'm saying. That guy has to have charisma on the and, mic. That's why Jr. was so good. Because even though he never put the show on himself, he knew how to have charisma for what was going on in the ring, and he, he talked about that all right. the time. He knew his so, product. Right. Right. All right. Well, let's get into the uh, pay-per-view. Uh, the first thing we'll talk about is the four-way tag title match. Uh, who finished last time, you or – I, I think, think you did. Did I finish last? Yeah. Because Steven – or it was – y'all were right there neck and neck. Yeah, I think he finished last because I was – uh, I was like second. Hey, so. hey, well, I, I'm gonna step that's in fine. here. What? I'm gonna throw my little brother a bone here and tell him that he can pick next to last because he's been on the show longer. I'm gonna make that executive decision. 
He can pick next or less. I pick next or less. Cause I no, no, excuse me. He can he can pick second. I'm, I meant next to first. <laughs> oh, okay. I was getting ready to say I'm picking. You, you can't give Sorry away my pick. Sorry about that, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the boss. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, Michael actually. <laughs> no, I'm the boss. He's the legit boss. I'm just the stunt double of the legit boss. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I'm acting like the I'm acting like the boss. All right. So I guess you get to go first. Uh, we're gonna do the tag team four way tag title. Yeah. The Usos versus Los Doritos. I mean Matadors versus Big E and No New Day. Kofi Kingston versus Kid and Cesaro. Who do you got? I don't need a definition. I know. Of how you I know. Win. I know. I... No count outs. <laughs> They retain them. All right. You think? All right. I do. I, yeah. I think. I think they run a little bit longer than just a month. By the way, I put you down as DD. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm DD in any aspect of the world, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Your initials are DD. I don't care. I. <laughs> and them double D's. <laughs> That's right. Double and D's. Root flutter. I. Uh, old man. It's confusing. Like I don't. Mm, how's it confusing? You got four choices because, he, because he's thinking about something else now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's I mean, thinking I, about that burger. No, you don't have you don't have four teams. You have three teams. Because I'm sorry, if Los Matadors wins, I'm never watching wrestling again. Actually, Is that a promise? Actually, we're, we're gonna, I've got that on air. We're, we're going to change their name to the Lost Ponies because of the little dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, the, there lost, we go, the ponies. lost Ponies. Are the, you Lost Ponies? Um. Or right, so that's a promise, right? You know, yeah, you're done with wrestling; promise, they done. win. So I'm cheering for Lewis Matadors on Sunday. Oh, you guys are mean. <laughs> uh, I'm still your friend. Don't um, worry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that hasn't been on the show the longest is my, still my friend. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks. That's because y'all are two twins in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Why we gotta be in a box? I don't understand. Don't this. let you out. All right. Anyway, All right. pick. <laughs> like he's, he's thinking something over here. Um, I'm gonna go with Cesaro and uh, Kid. I, I I was thinking the Usos, but do we really want to see another Uso run? Nope. I know JP does, but that's just because of his girl. So, <laughs> well, let me tell you, Uso one of the Usos is hurt, so I don't think the Usos will win. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. The new day is nothing new. It looks kind of old to me. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, it's the same old Kofi and the same old Big E. So right. it's no new day. Uh, I'm going to go with Kid and Cesaro. Even if I lose this, I don't care. Uh, I, I'm going with Kid and Cesaro. Best thing going in tag team wrestling right now. All right. Uh-oh. So. <laughs> you get the ponies or you get the, the ooh-sos. This is, Come this on, is, go get back on the is, train. This is usually the top of matchstick. That gets the champ in trouble. Yep. And he's going to stick with it. He's going to go ahead and go with the Usos because of my girl. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. I knew, I knew it. it. I, I, just, knew I it. just want to get on the train so I can be the caboose and she can be in the front. <laughs> that's that's a normal thing, actually, by the way. Because if they're champs, it means they might be on TV, which means I get to see her. You get to see her rear view? <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all yes. right. Uh-huh. So I will go different to try to set myself apart from the start, and I will go with the Usos. <laughs> I don't think that injury is that bad. We're just going to rest some icy hot on it and put some tape on it and go. <laughs> we'll call some. Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> <laughs> right before the match. Yep. Hey, it worked Patience, for, Daniel son. It worked for Karate Kid, right? Why could it work for the Islander? All right. The next one we're going to talk about is the WrestleMania kickoff. Oh, man. There – uh, the WrestleMania Battle Warrior, Andre Giant Battle Warrior. Uh, mm. I'm going to go through the list of people. I think what we do, we pick two, right? Like we usually do, we pick one main one and then a, set, a backup. Or you just want to go one. Because it looks like uh, it's supposed to be 30, I thought. But well, let, let's do this. Uh, let's it, do this. I think it's going to be more 20. Let's do this. Your main, your main guy will go two points. Your backup guy will go one point. Sounds good. All right. Oh, cool. So, what we'll do? Because if you don't get points for picking two guys, you mean record? No sense of picking you two. get two. You add it to your win total. Two points. Like you know, somebody goes six and two, they get two points, which will make them eight and two. 
Right, that's what right. I'm saying. Okay. So if they, okay. if if you get if your main guy wins, you get two points. If your second guy wins, you only get one point. Right. And let me right. go through the list. Cool. Uh, the Miz, Curtis Axel, Ryback, Fandango, Adam Rose, Zach Ryder, and you better pick him. Jack Swagger, you being a newbie, you have to stick with your guys because we all do. All right, first uh, don't, don't don't believe a That's thing a that guy says. Because if I was going with right. my favorites, <laughs> then it would be Ryder and Swagger. Right. I know. <laughs> so Swagger, Titus O'Neill, uh. Darren Young, Big Show, Kane, Eric Run, Damian Mizdow, Sankara. Goldust, Heath Slater, Mark Henry, Connor, and Victor, uh, the Ascension, and and Vin Balor and Hideo Tommy Ooh. are in it. That's the ones that have been confirmed, and there might be addition. Uh, I would look for Sheamus to be in this as well. He doesn't have a match. He doesn't have anything, and he'll be back Sunday, I think. I know when he's so showing up. So you could add him too, huh? I said I know when he's showing up. You do? Because mm-hmm. you this, know everything, huh? This yeah. this better right. not be like so, the last WrestleMania where, like, none of us picked Cesaro because he wasn't in it, and then he wins well, it. here's what will happen. That's going to be – Okay, <laughs> I have your numbers. I know where two of y'all will be. What we can do is, you know, if they add a person, we'll text, find out. If it's during right. the match, before the ma- – if the bell rings and nobody gets thrown out, we still got a chance. So stay by your phone. <laughs> oh, I'll have my phone. By the way, okay. Wikipedia has this listed as a 20-man battle royal. Okay. So, it well, may only be 20 guys. Okay. I thought it was 30, but it may only be 20. They did 30 last year, correct? Yeah. yeah. Here, like there's I said, 19, that's Wikipedia, though. There's so. 19 on here. here. What? I'll tell you the names. Why don't you come <laughs> over here? Do I want to see your lap when you're picking? Whoa, Maybe. whoa, whoa. All right. Give me a second. I'll tell you names again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, I'll tell <laughs> you, just hold lap. a second. I'm sitting here trying to talk. Uh, but I count 19 names, but they add it to it's 21, okay. whatever. Yeah. It's as many as they want. Ah. So you got you got The Miz, Curse Axel, Ryback, Fandango, Amrose, Zack Ryder, Swagger, Tyus O'Neill, Darren Young, Big Show, Kane, Eric Rowan, Damian Mizdow, Sin Cara, Goldust, which I'm surprised he's back on in this. Uh, Heath Slater, Mark Henry, and The Ascension. And you could add Seamus because I think he's going to be in it. Uh, ben Bowler and he do the Tommy is going to be in it. Now, can, can, I'm not going to choose somebody that's not in the match. So I'm just going to go ahead. If he is in the match, then he's going to take my number two spot. Do you need to tell me now? Yeah, he just said if he's in the match, he will. Yeah, Seamus if Seamus is in the match, he's, he's taking then, my number two spot. Then, okay. And then my uh, – but my number one is Gold Dust. Okay, I, I I actually could see that. I think Gold Dust is going to win it. Like I said, this is his last WrestleMania, so what better way to have an exit than winning the cup or the title or not title, but the trophy? The trophy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and give me a backup for number two. My number two, and the only reason why I'm going this way, because everybody thinks he's going to get thrown out. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with Ms. Dow. Uh, okay. I if you have that. Ms. Dow win this thing, shame on you. You didn't go with your guy. <laughs> hey, you know what? I know when jobbers when I see them. <laughs> all right. So, all right, uh, Stephen, who you got? Uh, you want to go through the list again? Or you got your back. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, man, I'm gonna go with Ryback. Number one or number two? He's going to be number one. Okay. Um, number two, I mean, even though he is a number there'll, two. There'll be, there'll be a lot for him to eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Somehow the Miz. I don't know how, but I'm going to go with the Miz. I could see him doing his playing possum trick, you know. See it happening. All right. Uh, I'm going to go, man, I don't know. This is scary. Uh, you see, I think Damian Mizdow gets thrown out by the Miz, mm. uh, during the match. So I can't go with him. Uh, even though I think he'll be, he'll be one of the last four. Uh, I'm going to go, with, I'll go with Seamus as number one if he's in. Okay. Uh, cause I think if he comes back. Because he's in for a big heel run when he gets back. 
And I think the other one, wow, he's Slater. There you go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, no way in heck. Man, Axel. Axel Mania. <laughs> you know what? I'm, and we don't know if he's going to be in it. I was going to say Adrian Neville, but we don't know if he's going to be in it yet. Uh, man, I, I already went with Seamus. This is tough. Uh who do you, who cares? I mean, really, what do you get if you win? You get that you get that a trophy, trophy that you get somebody is probably Hershey and, chocolate, and then you get so the job Mark for Henry, like I guess. five days. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll go with Rob back as number two. Oh, and, uh, uh, if Seamus is not in it, my number one, I'll go with Mizdale. I mean, yeah, I might be yeah. totally different. Right. Well, we're going to agree there because I'm going to go with Mizdow to win this thing. It's a, it's about time. Mizdow is going to be my number one. And my number two, I am going to actually go out on a limb. And I'm going to say Axel Mania. Man. Mm. And if he wins, I should go ahead and just get two points for that also just for picking that dude since <laughs> everybody here says there's no chance. I think he gets thrown out first. I think he, I think he's one of the last ones. I do. Really? I, think around I almost think really? you have to be with the buildup you've had for him. Yeah. He, he, I mean, technically. How many times have they squashed something though? Te- technically, he's still in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> he's about to get thrown out. <laughs> I, th- I, think I mean, nobody's ever going to beat this time in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> what is it? Fifty days now. Guinness Book of World Records, baby. Here we come. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that uh, might make him a Hall of Famer right there. Most time ever spent in a, in a Royal Rumble. <laughs> 50 days. All right, first it's match. 365, it goes on. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, the next match we want to talk about, AJ and Paige versus the Bellas. Uh, uh, mm. All right, so. The twin, it's really good. Just no bank in this match, man. Yeah. There will be some flair, though. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to go with the Twins. You always got to go to the Twins. Reluctantly. Of course. You, your nickname is D, Double D. You got to go with the Twins. I don't want – I do not like the oh. Twins, but mm-hmm. I'm going with them for picks. All right, Steven. All right, what are you, what, what are you telling – not it telling us. Matter. What are you not telling us? I know you know something. You better spill before I, I – no, I want to know before I pick. I, I don't know, know anything. You, 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 Wait a minute, Vince is, she, is Charlotte going to be in this match? What is happening with this? I don't know. Hey, well, first off, first off, there, blasphemer. Don't ever say Charlotte points at Charlotte. <laughs> no, because he goes, he goes, oh, this is definitely going to be some flair. What's going on here? This is, this is not flair. I know, this is this banks. This is bank this and is gold, banks. okay? Big difference. Actually, it's flair, just gold. Flair is fake. Hey, gold is real. <laughs> Can you, hey, go ahead. You got to pick, dude. Hey, you should have beat me in picks. You could go before me because you could steal my theories. Uh, you see what happens is usually I hey, share my hey, theories here, and he picks. Hey, if you want to go here, off here, my here, theories, then you, go ahead. Here's what I you think you don't understand the theory is not going to have anything to do with outcome match. Oh, yeah. Well, no. the theory is not on the line. Yeah, you're right. So you're right. don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to know when the Bellas are actually leaving. WWE because if, if they're Once still going to be, it's not a tag, it's not a title match. Yeah, but so you know you don't see them again. Well, that, well then I think you need to do some more matters. research before we do the show. No, so. well, no it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell them. Maybe you need to get caught up on if, your total divas. If this was a, <laughs> if nope. it, hey, if this was a tag title match where if one of them gets pinned, they lose the title, which it's not right now. Maybe not it could now. be, but I don't think it will be. But if it if that was the case, then. I can uh, see well, first, dilemma. first off, we spent more time picking the match than the match is going to last. I know, so. I know, I know. I'm waiting right, well, what's going on here. You ain't waiting on me. You're talking Paige and AJ. Okay, go with them. There you go. Now tell me what you know. <laughs> Honestly, I I don't know anything. I was just hearing what I, I my thoughts is that sometime in this match you will see Charlotte Flair. I think you will. I don't know. She. I think she. And because the Bellas are going away, you will bring in Flair. Maybe Rick will come out with her. It's WrestleMania weekend. I think it'd be a perfect time to debut. If you don't date, she will be there by Monday Night Raw. I bet you that. 
Yeah, I could see that. So because you need to have another heel diva, and I think you'll see. Even though the Bellas are still champ, I mean you'll you'll see them lose at some point. Yeah. Uh, All right. But I'm just saying, I think Charlotte will come out. Uh, but AJ and Paige got their own issues. I'm gonna go to Bellas, man. Yeah, I mean, just because I, mm-hmm. you know, it's WrestleMania. It's the last time that the Bellas will be at WrestleMania. I'm gonna go ahead and end, end my pick real short and sweet. I'm going with the Bellas. Now let's move on to the next thing. Good. Because those girls cannot wrestle this long. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they kick out at two. Yep. All right. Oh, that's Cena kicks out. That's not what, <laughs> I was about to say, that's not what Cena said. Cena kicks out, too. Actually, she taps out at two, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, she does to the rack attack. Yep. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> on top, oh, man, come on. Uh, next is, oh, wow, I don't know where to go next. Let's go to the ladder match, the IC Intercontinental Ooh. ladder match. Wade Ooh. Barrett, R-Truth, Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, Stardust, Ambrose, and Harper. And we're only picking one. Yeah. Yeah, for this, because it's only yeah. seven people. It's only fair. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, judge and jury. <laughs> He's just reiterating. Jury. I know. <laughs> well, it needs to be really it. What's your pick? Oh, this pick. All right. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with a sweep. Let's go with Stardust. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, like his, I like his chances. All right. You have a better chance than Stardust has a chance. I'm hey, just saying hey, that. It's all good. <laughs> um, ah, Probably not going to win it, but I'm okay with that. I have uh, either Ziggler or Ambrose. Um, I'm going to go with Ziggler. I feel like uh, I need to know if Mike was picking Ziggler. Mike, if you're picking Ziggler, don't pick Ziggler. <laughs> well, it's not. No, here, that, that, so. that, 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 he's here. <laughs> he's here in spirit. He is here yeah. in spirit. <laughs> he, he is here somewhere. <laughs> in our hearts of hearts. <laughs> uh, you can bank on it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just just throwing it out there, man. Well, what I'm doing, we're gimmick. Might as well knock them all out. <laughs> you can believe that. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, wow. You know it. Yep. <laughs> Do I? Wade Barrett, man. I don't know. Something tells me Wade Barrett may win this match. Somehow, well, some way. Him. No, I'm not picking him. I'm not. He he's got a better chance. Then stop street. making a case for him winning the match, sir. Make a case for you got to win. You know, <laughs> you went with Ziggler. Fuck crap! I hate doing this. Oh oh, he's gonna pick something I did. <laughs> no, I'm not because we all have to be different. I'll go with yes movement. No. Yeah, I'll go with Daniel Bryan. No. Oh. Yep. To wow. win that mania. Wow. Dude, you got to have he. What's a better way to open up WrestleMania? This will be the first match of the night after the kickoff show. Daniel Bryan wins the title. You got the crowd going. Listen, this match can Just only go, this match can only go one place. Yeah. It's an unstable match. Ladders are unstable. <laughs> All right, you got to be a little bit of a lunatic to jump off a ladder or to let someone hit you with a ladder. Dean Ambrose. All day long. All right. I mean, he's already been sporting a title around between him and R-Truth. <laughs> That's the closest as R-Truth is ever going to come to a championship in WWE. Yeah. He had a tag title. Tro- <laughs> like I said, this, is, this truth. is the closest that he'll ever come to having a singles title. All right. Can't so we mean. all went different directions, with yes, it, we which did. is awesome. <laughs> Ladders uh, are unstable. <laughs> <laughs> they are unstable, man. You can't walk underneath them. Yeah. I mean, you know. Well, let's, let's just be serious about it. Ladders are unstable. The match is unstable. I'm going with the unstable guy. That's, yeah. that's just, <laughs> well, it made perfect sense to me. Yeah. Once you <laughs> get that, some flair. That's legit like a boss. <laughs> legit like, yeah. I, I mean, God. Yeah. I mean, it's the gold standard. Yeah. Now you're just going way too deep. <laughs> like we were, we were here. You just mad because I'm MVP. All right. Anyway, nah, we good. All right, we good. All right. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> what's up, little Jimmy? All right. Uh, what you going to do, brother? Uh, Rollins versus Orton. All right. Is next. Well, we already know yours. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's yours, Dutch? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to go with. I know where you're going. I'm going to Orton. All right. I knew that. Going Orton. 
I figure you could do that. Well, this match is unstable. I so, think there's uh, just too much. <laughs> it doesn't. I think work it's like so that. stacked <laughs> in Rollins' favor. It's just Orton has to be incredible to win this match. He, yeah, and I'm 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 gonna go ahead and say I'm I'm going I, for I Orton too. Orton. I am. I mean, he just came back. He's gonna be on. Because what I think is going to happen with Rollins, because I know James thinks it too, Rollins is cashing in. So what better for you to lose and then cash in? Think about it. You lost your match, but you're going to win. You're going to cash in on the title. I see it happening. So I'm going to go with Horton. Make him look weak. Well, you got JP because we know what James got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not even going to say it? <laughs> you know, see? I was going to go this way, but then somebody re-signed the company this week. Oh, come on. And, man. you know, the more I think about it, I don't think he is going to cash in now. I, I was the original person to think he was going to lose, make him look bad, and then he cashes in. And then Randy Orton beats him in the first match. Then you got a rivalry from for a couple months between Orton and Rollins for the title. I don't know if that's going to happen now. I, I just uh, – man, I'm telling you, this is tough. Uh, this is this will be the match – I think this should be the match of the night. We'll see. Uh, I'm going Orton. All right. After it, all it, what I just said, what? I'm going Orton. It'll be match of the night. I don't it see it be. not being. It should be. Who you got? I'm going to go Orton, though, because I think Rollins will cash in. He's stressing and there. And they will, you know, lose her. Don't do it, JP. Don't. I know what you're going to say. Don't you do it just to be different. Don't you do it. No, he, if he wants to do it, go with my boy. <laughs> nah, you know what? I'm going to tell you right now, when I look at that roster, there's only about two – Really main event guys that could have a four or five star match with anybody, and Orton's one of them. I believe Orton wins this match. I do. He typically thrives in a match like this. It's usually his mo. He likes. They kind of like him to go over on people that you don't think he's going to go over on. I and mean, he's done it since he since he stepped out of Evolution to beat Triple H for the title. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. All right. I, I, just, I mean, the only guy that he really didn't go over on was I think Taker at WrestleMania one year, but. Come on, that was that in the was middle of the street. So, different right. circumstances. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But even then, he had a heck of a match with Taker, even early in his career. So That's one of my favorite. Yeah, I'm going to go Orton. I, I, listen, Orton, to me, through the years, has turned into one of those guys that you can put him with about anybody, and he can sell it and, and make it real. Yeah. Yeah, right. I, this will be the match tonight. And I think, you know, we'll talk about it some more. Uh, Bray Wyatt versus Undertaker. Oh, man, I forgot about this match. <laughs> I think, personally, that it's pointless to have Taker lose two, two, straight, years. two straight years. There's no – if you – if Taker loses two straight years, then what was the point in the streak? Nah. Yeah. That's almost like having, you know, Goldberg lose two straight matches when he was in WCW. <laughs> he never had two back-to-back losses. Yeah, that's true. So, I'm going – Taker. It, it, yeah, Taker. It, it has to. Uh. Well, I believe that it's useless for Bray Wyatt to lose twice. And, I mean, because here's the thing. Taker's already built. Taker, I don't care. Taker can lose for the rest of his career. It doesn't matter. Bray Wyatt cannot come back from this if he loses. Okay. So, so I'm not, going with Bray. Going Bray. That's not what he said last year when Taker lost well. on our couch. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that isn't what I said, but you know it, what? Taker's it, dead to me now. It, He's dead because was, of that couch. It was like an eight-year-old kid he's... at Christmas who didn't get a Nintendo. <laughs> Damn like right. Hey, I think he's been dead for a yeah. while now. Well, yeah. <laughs> listen, li- all right, listen, real fast. Uh, Bray, Bray Wyatt won't win this match, unfortunately. Uh, he is, even though he's the new face of fear, nobody fears him. He He's not going to beat The Undertaker because they're not going to have Undertaker lose two straight years and then put The Undertaker against Sting next year at WrestleMania and have Sting and The Undertaker lose on a card. This is the first time ever you got Sting and Undertaker on a WrestleMania card. Do you really think both of them is going to lose? There's no chance in hell, unfortunately, that both of them lose. So I'm going with The Undertaker because he needs – even though I think Bray Wyatt needs to win more, they'll give it to Undertaker mm. because Undertaker's on his way out. Bray Wyatt's on the way in. 
and they're going to give it to the wrong guy. I agree. Um, you know what? I'm going to agree with that premise. I'm going to go with Taker. I don't believe that Taker's mm. going to handpick a guy like Wyatt right now to beat him. It made sense to tap Lesnar last year to beat me. Because what I believe needs to happen to Bray Wyatt is he needs to get beat a la buried in a casket. Maybe, and then go, come maybe back. go away for a week or two or even a little longer than that. And then kind of come back with, you know, the dead man tried to kill me, but I rose from the ashes. That's perfect. That would almost be great for his storyline. Let, let, let him evolve yes. into yes. this Faces of Fear guy. Yes. This is what? a casket That's, match, right? No. Is it it's not? just a it straight system match. Was, oh, I'm no, sorry. it's no casket match. Well, I thought it was okay, a casket Okay, I thought it was too, but no, no I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen but anything I'm, that Well, that. I'm using the casket as a, a metaphorical, I'm okay. going to beat you, like I'm going to bury you. Like That's what I mean by you're going to get beat by the Undertaker. There's no specialty match except for the last match. That's you know what, what I've no, seen. I will say this. I believe this match should be a cast. I agree. Match, though. I do. I agree. Yeah. Now, well, if you were doing another pay-per-view, probably, maybe. but WrestleMania, yeah. you've never yeah, – you could do it, but still. You could do it. You could, that yeah. would probably change my pick then. If it was yeah. a casket match, yeah. you bury Undertaker, then I could have said Bray Wyatt. See, right. right. Yeah. But yeah. it's different. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The next match we're going to go to, Steam versus Triple H. <sighs> Don't even ask me. Go ahead and put it down. <laughs> Triple H? <laughs> Oh, come on. Mr. WCW. Sting, <laughs> baby. Sting is going to win. All right. But well, if if Triple H, is, Triple H wins, saw it coming. Well, I'm sorry. And say what you want about WCW, but WWE all the way. And Triple H is <laughs> he's winning. I don't care. He wow. needs the win. He's, he's lost five WrestleManias. He will not lose. I, I love your out-of-the-box thinking Thank you're finally you. doing. Thank you. You're, you're <laughs> living on the edge. <laughs> That's my favorite. The song. hardy age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I you're can slap a street. tornado, man. Yeah, you're slapping some tornadoes on I the way out the door. Right, outside ah. on the on the way out the door, you're slapping tornadoes. <laughs> uh, so, I right. <laughs> yeah, Triple H. I'm going with Sting because WCW. Unfor- WCW guy. Yeah, uh, but no, I'm going with Sting because the creative is an idiot. Yeah. And they want to build Steam versus Undertaker one last event. Even though I want Triple H to win. You know what? Hey. hey. I almost just <laughs> want to take no points on this match and not even pick because this hurts my soul. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea, dude. <laughs> this is where the glittering of the gold stops. Well, at least you got some gold. I just this, <laughs> this right here, I promise you, is going to bother me for years to come. The fact that Triple H is going to have to let this WCW guy just come in for one pay per view on their biggest stage and beat him. Let, let me say but one I'm, thing. But I'm gonna. Well, let mm-hmm. me let me finish the statement real quick. That backs it up to what I've always said about Triple H. He loves this business and will do whatever he's got to do for business. I'm going to go with Sting. You're not going to have him lose. There's no yeah. way you bring him in for one or two matches and he loses. I think perfect. I mean, what I think the perfect way to end this match. Lights go out. Somebody comes in. It's a no contest or something, and it goes somewhere else. But what? they won't do it. No, WrestleMania. What no, a, no contest, what sir. If, what if you yeah. De- what if, <laughs> yeah, I know. What if you DQ it? Stephanie gets involved. Exactly. You do could that, do that could because be. you do. You could set up extreme rules. You know, with the bat and the sledgehammer. Yeah, the bat sledgehammer. Or, uh, that's what I'm saying. Or what if Benny Mac makes an appearance against the Ultimate WCW guy? Mm. How about that? I don't know. That, that would, would be good. awesome. That would be that's great. But you know what? Happen, that would be but. just as bad as. Booker T coming to the ring and The Rock asking him who the hell he was. Yeah. That killed that WCW momentum. Okay, but let's look at the time. To The Rock, who was Booker T? But no still. offense, Booker T, if WCW had to be going under, you never would have been world champ, let's face it. That is true. You I don't think so? Say, no. Not, not at, at all? all. Not, not at that time in his career, no. Look how long it took him to become world champion WWE. So WWE wouldn't have made him, I mean, taken him seriously if he would have never won those titles, though. So thank God WCW was going but, under, though. But what I'm saying is look how long it still took him to get to the top of WWE even after doing yeah, that. And I agree with that, but I still. Mean, I'm not saying Booker yeah. T's a scrub, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Heck of a tag team wrestler. But again, I just, 
is Sting's going to win. Like I said, it just it kills me. Mm-hmm. It, it just, no, I it hate this. I hurts. understand why Triple H does this, but I hate to see a guy like Triple H. I don't know. I, I, do this I, but, you know, there's going to be another match with these guys. So oh, yeah. I right. could see well, that's Triple yeah, H, H maybe winning. A count out or I don't think he'll win. I think something will happen. DQ – uh, you know, I'm gonna somebody you, no, will get it's DQ either win. DQ or Sting wins. I yeah. don't think Triple yeah. H all out wins the yeah. match. Well, after uh, this, after this too, sorry, is uh, I think Sting and H go go at it. Of course, the WrestleMania, and then eventually he's going to have a match against Cena and Taker. Well, I, can I see do that. see Cena. Well, Taker's next WrestleMania. I can guarantee yeah. you can bank on it because uh, it's <laughs> going to happen. You just keep pointing. <laughs> but we, you know, yeah, Sting. I think this ends somehow. They'll have another match, SummerSlam or. Something like that. Let's move on. Uh, Rusa versus Cena for the U.S. title. Who you got? <sighs> Got to go with Cena winning that title again. Who you got? I'm going to go with a different one. Super Cena. Going oh, with Super Cena. <laughs> going a little bit above. <sighs> Damn it. It's going to be how much, spinner. You know how much <laughs> I hate to pick Super Cena because I really do. Especially oh, yeah, yeah, you really hate picking Super Cena, huh? <laughs> you picked Super Cena last year. You did. Did I? Yeah. Is that who I picked? Yes, Oh, yeah, did. I had to. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I won WrestleMania last year. Then I won picks. <laughs> uh, that's right. The big boys show up at that time. Uh, oh, man. I can see Rusev winning this because, and keep it going because this feud's not over. No. No matter what, this feud is not over. Uh, but I'm going to say Super Cena because he got knocked out Monday. He passed out. I'll say Super Cena wins uh, either by DQ or he pins him one to two, but he wins. I can see a DQ and Yusuf keeps the title. If he pins him, wouldn't it be one, two, three? You yeah, said but I said DQ. You said, said one, two. <laughs> well, he might kick out at two again. Yeah, but if Cena's doing the pinning, he's not going to kick out. Yeah, that's true. He well, might tap. I mean, I mean, if you're tapping I, out while yeah. you're the one pinning, wow. Cena uh, rules are like, you know. Well, you know what? Different. Listen, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the new All American American, John Cena. John <laughs> your your character's officially been stolen by John Cena. Newsflash, okay? John Cena's going to win this match, but I do agree he wins the match. Then maybe you set up a match at Extreme Rules. Where it involves the flag somehow, or Lana's involved somehow. So I do think Cena wins, though. I think it's the right thing for Cena to win right. this match right now. Did we just do a SummerSlam thing again, where we said about? Remember when we were like, "Oh, Swagger's going to win because it's a flag match." We no, they ain't walking well, out of there not alive. A flag match, though, but I'm no, just but saying. I'm just saying we did the same thing, and who won? Rusev. <laughs> That's what I'm right. Afraid. But but again, if you were looking further down the road for Cena, it was smart that Rusev won all those yeah. matches. Yeah. Now looking back, hindsight. The, if you, I mean, they probably didn't think that far ahead. No. If, if you it, hey. somehow, some way, Cena will win this match. Okay. But I think Rusev will keep the title just because the rivalry will keep going. Yeah, it's not over. It no. just seems right to have Cena end it. Right. I mean, you have Absolutely. the yeah. You have the face of WWE beating him. Of no, course. he 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 does. No. Uh, and of course, the last match in WWE title: Lesnar versus Reigns. Oh my God! Yep. <sighs> Lesnar. Remember, I was so dead set on my pick. I know. Until I got that text message. Um, Jesus. Man, you boys are flighty. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna. Get- <laughs> You know what never goes out of style? What's that? Gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, the gold standard sticks yeah. around, dude. Man, exactly. you, you you created a monster now. Do you understand what we have done? <laughs> you're just mad you're not the a legit boss. Yeah. No, I don't want to bank on it. Yeah, okay. and you ain't got no flair. Yeah. Oh, I've got flair. Just go ahead and quit because you ain't too legit. Woo. <laughs> to hang out with little Jimmy. Okay. I'm going to stick with my gut. I'm going to go on range. You can't see me. Going rain because I'm yeah. nothing but smoke and mirrors. I'm not confident in my pick, but I'm staying with my gut. Going to rains, I still think the Heyman angle comes into effect. The Heyman angle, but what, what, what is what is this? <laughs> um, that's a new move, Heyman angle. Man, I got the shirt, so screw it. I'm going with rains. Believe that. Believe All right. that. All right. <laughs> I have too much fun with this. Mm-hmm. I need some more. Uh, that's what I do. Man, 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 man. Go ahead, do it. 
I know. Well, I, I know. You go ahead. Do it. Do, do your you three me? million dollars. Get your three million dollars. Great. Best for business. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want to see happen is Heyman screw Lesnar and cost him the title. And then you could mate and turn Reigns just like that into a heel at WrestleMania. And nobody will kill if, care if he gets booed. Uh, so, and Lesnar is Lesnar is going to be the ultimate crowd favorite this weekend. Everybody's going to love him. He'll get the biggest pop of anybody. Uh, saying that, I'm going to go with Reigns. Because I've been saying it for six months. Reigns will end up winning. Uh, Rollins will cash in. Mm-hmm. And but, I think Rollins catches in orange. But then what do you do with Lesnar? You, he can – dude, come on. He can take off until SummerSlam, come back. You can have him fight Sting. You can have him fight – yeah, that would be horrible. Yeah, you can have him yeah, fight – you can have him and Cena part four. You can have, you know, him and he, Orton. I think him and Orton would be great, great Robert. Oh, I'm yeah. surprised we haven't seen that yet. So, I really am. We're about we'll to. See. We'll see, though. But I'm I'm gonna go with uh, Reigns. All right, I guess that's it. Cause Who do you you got Reigns? Yeah, right? we already know what the champ's going for. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look, I, listen. He <laughs> has been since the Shield broke up. It was him and Ambrose for me. Rollins sucking egg. Sorry, dude. Uh, you just I'm just tired. I'm just tired of you wearing your motorcycle gear because you don't have enough money to buy legit ring gear. <laughs> so you ride in on your little moped. With your little, you know, black Mo- jumpsuit. Oh, you see, and you wrestle on it. That's yeah, all he pad. could afford after you know these pictures got out. Well, the, oh, that's God. your fault, guy. And yeah, by the way, by is. the way, if you're gonna pick an NXT girl, at least pick the hot ones. Just saying. Who did he pick? Uh, I, I don't know, but she was clearly not the hottest member. But <laughs> I, listen, I'm gonna go with Reigns. I think it's time. And again, I'm sticking with the pick that. Paul Heyman turns on Brock Lesnar. He does it to everybody. It's yep. been his MO. Yep. Why not have him do it? Let him go with Les- uh, Reigns. Reigns can afford to be heel. Again, I'm with you. I think it'll be better if he's heel right exactly. now. Exactly. Let the crowd ease better. back into him. All right. So there's your picks for WrestleMania. Uh, you know, can't wait for it. And of course, there's a new tag team that's on debut soon. And you'll love it, JP. Yeah. Bo Breeze. Get used to it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and from JP because he's banking on it right now. Uh, little Why Steven, can people not just be fired. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Little Steven and the dirty man himself, Dirty Dutch. We see you next week. Listen to us next week on Stitcher, Spreaker, and iTunes. Have a good week. WrestleMania. Woo.